Alrighty, uh, welcome back to Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, episode 38, maybe? I think it's 38. Um, if anybody wants to give me a recap of what happened last time for a point of DM inspiration, uh, go ahead. I will say you guys might need it. Going once. Going twice. Uh, I'll, I'll do it. All right. I'll do it. I need I need all the inspiration I can get. Ah oh, man! All right, hold on. Let me uh, let me try to remember what happened. Okay. All right. Yeah, I got it. Um. Okay. Last time on Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, we got done dealing with the aforementioned Frost Maiden at her fortress. Uh, we returned to a. a I don't remember the names of all these magical animals. We return to Magical Narwhal's uh, dock. Uh, Selena made a big tower, and we all hung out in the tower. And then we called for help using her Silver Raven. And we waited a couple of days uh, for... Uh, maybe it was like two days. And then an unexpected ally came, and in the form of Avarice... Mark. The um, tiefling with albinism who works for the wizards, who's taking advantage of local cultist of Levistus. And they showed up with smalls and a bunch of dog sleds. And we took the robot back to town, uh, along with uh, Vitos's uh, mostly dead brother. And all of our ill-gotten gains from the Frost Maiden's Tower. On the way back, a very battered and beaten Hellebore talked to Avarice about possibly teaming up. Uh, had some more positive feels about it than she thought she would, but in the end, didn't work out. Uh, they returned to Ten Towns. Um, they kind of bounced between, like, two different towns as they leveled up to nine, question mark? And then also, um, built the robot and buried, um, uh, Vitos's brother. And then we bound the new robot, which was made with parts from Vitos's brother to Vitos, which is kind of symbolic of, of his brother, I guess. Um, then... Clank made some magic stones to enhance more of our equipment. Um, Quan made the decision not to use a Berserker Axe and kill everyone, so that was nice. Um, we re-upped all of our supplies, uh, and then with Grandma in tow, um, we sent a very belligerent message to Avarice that was like, show up or don't show up, we're going to the H. Netherese ruins. So then we rolled out on that shit, and then on the way there, we ran into the tribe of the elk. Let's go with that. And they were like, oh yeah, we received a vision from, insert name of spirit, and they said that you're destined to do this shit, which we had already heard a couple of times. So <clears throat> we teamed up, and then we went to this really big map, and then there was an ambush, and Hellebore's mom was there, and uh, Dom was like, you gonna have a big fight? I don't know, big fight, maybe? And we kind of all secretly wanted to have a big fight, but in this combat system, we have to like be real careful with our resources, so we had sort of a fight, but then when we saw that we had laid down the groundwork for our allies to whoop the shit out of Hellebore's mom and the cat people, uh, we continued on a journey uh, without them and then we reach the entrance to the super dungeon and right at the entrance of the super dungeon I think is where we left off for the session all right good good take okay. your uh, point of view inspiration cool I would add it but my foundry's still loading but oh no yeah that's fine a theater of the mind all right uh while you're doing that I probably should have preloaded this this mega dungeon uh <laughs> Uh, one thing um, I will say, a little, little bit of housekeeping. Um, probably should have did this before we started. Uh, 
Vitos, uh, you now have control of that that shield guardian. Just so you know, you, you can, because you're gonna. He has. He's only gonna do what you tell him to do on, on his turn. On your. Uh, so you know, you have control over it now. So it should uh, pop up in your friendly NPCs uh, folder. Cool. Ultra guardian damaged. Um. What else? Uh, hmm. I will give you guys a little bit of a warning. Um, when they said that this this campaign was a horror campaign, they were talking about this chapter. So uh, I'll just you know, hope you guys are expecting a bit of horror uh, while you go through this uh, this chapter of the dungeon of the 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 this chapter of the adventure. You mean throwing babies in the lake wasn't horror? Uh, I mean that is or, horror or too. Keeping us poor the whole time, or mm -hmm. making mm -hmm. our treasure disappear that you convinced us we were able to wish for, and we were really happy, and then you punched us in the stomach. I mean, you got the plate armor. Mm -hmm. Frank does like it armor. Well, right. what about poor uh, Zathu with everybody always joking around about eating her butt cheeks. I uh, think that's only you, but okay. Yeah, I mean, that seems like another horror thing that you didn't yeah, worse, yeah. I worse mean, about. Uh, I mean, yeah. have you been seeing the articles on uh, RPG Horror Stories? I mean... Mm -hmm. That's true. Alrighty. Uh, I so always deliver a horror game. Yeah. I'll, I'll go ahead and activate <laughs> this map. Even when I activated it, it froze a little bit for me. All right. Let me know when you guys get in and get loaded. And I'll pause. I am in and loaded. Some would say locked and loaded. So. Right. Me too. Okay, let's get started. All right. So yeah, you guys. Uh, we fit. Last time we finished, uh, you, uh, um, Selena, uh, read the the poem, uh, the rhyme of the Frost Maiden. And the glacier opened up. Uh, you heard a lot of creaking and cracking. And as it opened up, you did see above your head the uh, aurora turned to an icy, cold uh, blue light. All right. That's where we'll start. So we send the giant robot in first, right, to announce our presence? Uh, looking at the opening to get in, uh, it's very difficult. It seems like probably very difficult to get this. Uh, giant robot in, but maybe. Don't worry, Vitos. Uh, one of us has got to have an alchemist jug by now. This is a standard, uh, you know, Wizards of the Coast adventure. So, who's got the alchemist jug? Uh, uh, you're you're right. You do, right? Oh, I have the alchemist jug? Yeah, yeah. I have the yeah, alchemist jug. Yeah. I'm trying to think if that guy man is. Yeah, 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 yeah. There it is. Okay. See, I told you someone would have it. Uh, here, we're just gonna grease this bad boy up. Come here, buddy. I gotta reload on my black screen. So. Okay. Just tell him to bend over. Squeaky, bend over. Okay. I'm gonna just put a thick lather of mayonnaise all over the uh, the robot, so that mayonnaise? it can squeak. Well, does it make okay. butter? find out <laughs> let's find out together um we definitely don't want honey yeah i feel like i feel like manny's is the best thing because it's kind of sticky but not sticky you know like it'll stick to the robot but make the robot slippery and i feel like two gallons of mayonnaise that should do the job right yeah maybe zathu how much mayonnaise do you think it's gonna take to cover this robot I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Quan and I, when we wrestle, we always oil each other down. And uh -huh. I feel, you know, so I thought that was a Goliath thing. And, you know, mayonnaise, it's like an oil. Uh, Quan jumps in. I thought that was a half work thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a half work thing. And now we're doing it to this robot. But I got some leftover mayonnaise if anybody wants some. You don't want to get stuck in there. Vito's like raises his hand very slowly and looks around at everybody. Yeah, here you go. And she just uh, 
plops it into your outstretched hand. Very sticky. Yeah. Now he smells good, too. All right. Uh, we won't be able to get any more out of this jug until the next dawn. Right. He'll be he can he'll be able to go through, but all of these five foot areas he'll be squeezing. Hmm. I mean that makes sense. Yep. Is mayonnaise flammable? Nah. Eh? It, it okay. has a lot of oil in it. If you ever look at the ingredients on back. I'm going to look it up. Yes, it's flammable. Mayonnaise is flammable. Essentially mm -hmm. a type of cooking oil. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm glad I looked that up because yeah. that was actually on my bucket list, so I'm going to take that one off. Setting mayonnaise on fire? Uh, sure. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> yep. Uh, Okay, cool. So now we know. Energy somewhere to diesel fuel. Yeah, it's just, Jesus it's, it's, Christ. Yeah, it's just oil. It's tons of oil and egg. I feel like I've maybe set this guy up for a death sentence. Luckily, oil is uh, relatively manageable in uh, 5e, but oof. What a way to go, IRL. What a way to go, IRL. Man. Okay. Are we sending him first or? can't really tell us if he sees anything now. Wait. Mm -hmm. We should Google, would a vape set fire to a bathtub full of mayonnaise? Then I can still keep my bucket list. Oh, no. All right. So are you you're just sending him in? I think that's what everybody wants. Well, to he, he can't really tell us what's going on, right? Yeah. Can you talk to him? I mean, I can just go right behind him. I think it'll be okay. Uh -huh. Just watch my back, Clink. No, I got your back. All right, Wait, you guys want me to go in first? Because I could, like, stealth and shit? No? Okay, we'll just send the loud little kobold yeah. in. Okay. Alright, Vitos. Uh, <laughs> squeaky. As you enter this... <laughs> squeaky. As you enter this room, uh, you see... Um, uh, you come into a 30-foot high cavern. In the center... Uh, uh, in its center, uh, the remains of a wooden ship hull uh, rests on the floor. All right. uh, uh, there you go. Uh, I think you see it. You also see some lights coming from the tunnel to the east. Halibar, it looks like there are several different entrances down here. I don't know if you want to look. Uh, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Was it spider webs? Uh, these. Uh, hold on, wait a second. Let me just try. Oh, okay. Oof. Um, no, no. Go ahead. <laughs> so, so they aren't spider webs. <laughs> uh, do you take a close look at them? <laughs> yeah, I'm literally sanded on them, Dom. So okay. yeah, I'm gonna look at them. Um, give me a you know investigation what? check. I'm even gonna light a torch with fast hands. All right. He said there's light over here, right? Yes, that he, he, uh, Vitos can see some light coming from uh, that pathway. I think you can see it. Yeah, you can see it now too, Clank. All right, you light that light, uh, Hellebore. Uh, all right, you look at them. Uh, they are. They look like. Uh, uh, 
Um, actually, give me an investigation check. Or knowledge nature. No, please say it's um, please say it's, it's investigation. It's okay. investigation. Let's see. Okay. Looking at it, uh, you see that um, it is a silk substance, but it's it looks more like, like a net or like a sail that has been like frayed and frozen over. Oh. Also does, you know, the wooden hull of a ship in the center of the room. Okay, that's a little weird. Yeah. Okay. As you're exploring, I'll pat you on the back for like guidance. Ah, guidance. You step there. All right. Um, when you we should uh, like both worship Tiamat, Clank. You know what I'm saying? Like Tiamat's yeah, all about getting treasure and, and dragons. I feel like you and I, like we could start like a Bible study group. Yeah. Does he like rocks? I forgot. Yeah. Cl uh, well, it's a lady. Would have been walking. Uh, guys. And definitely likes rocks. All right, I'm in. Okay. So, um, as you step there, uh, you do hear the clattering of some sound as uh, uh, you kind of hear a cold, uh, raspy voice say, uh, uh, Defilers. And then, uh, no, cold should... iron blades. And then. Uh, Gonna have the roll, roll the That's a pretty good name, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Defilers does sound pretty good. I feel like it's a little problematic here in the fifth age of magic, though. Um. <laughs> Every time I tried to move my MIDI in there, it got popped. <laughs> so oh, I'm sorry. Stuck out here in the entrance, and Quan got we're, to move when time was stopped. So it's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where, where, where you? How far? How far in would you? I'd be like right here. That's okay. Okay. Oh. Um, why Thank do you, you have Bane on yourself, Hellebore? Why well, do I have Bane on myself? Oh, because in the last fight I succeeded at a cost. I would assume where, where, in the hours would, that have where, passed I've gotten Zafi, over. would you have been here with them while they were searching around? Yeah. Okay, where would you want to been? Next to... In between in... Selena and Quan, probably. Okay. There you go. And I'll put uh, Velen right behind Quan. Oh. All right. There's some... Oh, she's still with us. I forgot. All right. <laughs> okay, now let me uh, throw everybody in. She just has a heart attack right at the entrance and... Sid. She made it to her cutscene, though, in the book. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it's pretty damn impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with us. Yeah. <laughs> Why is there two of us in there? Yeah, that's really weird. Okay, let me just delete this account real quick and start over. I'm just acting kind of weird. There we go. It just took some time. Uh. A lot of dice coming out. Boop. Cold light skull. Oh, it's adorable. Is that like a reskin of a flaming skull? Mm -hmm. Is this an original monster from Dom or is this from the book? Uh, book was a flame skull. I didn't think it did make sense that the. That's, that's weird, okay? Because yeah. they did a... Here's a super minor spoiler. They did an Electro Skull in um, Mad Mage. So, like, I was like, what? Okay, you willing to reskin for that? Why wouldn't you reskin for the Frost Maiden? It's, exactly. I mean, I'm happy that they're not real Flame Skulls, though, because the real Flame Skull really strong. Like, really strong. I mean, uh, Giffy Cliff's... Uh... Oh god. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Alrighty. Um let's see, let's see. Uh everybody rolled? Ooh, they fast too. Yeah, it looks like they won. No, Selena. Right? Oh no, Selena she has... lost by point oh four. 
No, there's one that got a 23.2. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, oh, there's a 23? Shit. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Let us begin combat. Uh, get some combat music in here. I don't want to do that. Same. I thought, did you have combat music? Otherwise, I got it. Well, not, not for this one. Okay. Not for this. Okay. Alrighty. Wait a minute. All right. Uh, first up is going to be well dressed called Light Skull, <laughs> which is this one. Right. Got a top hat on. What's yeah? What's it wearing? Why is it so well dressed? Uh, I Does don't it know. have a monocle? Whoa. It will in the thumbnail for this episode. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see how. Uh, who comes around our corner? Yep. Who comes around the corner behind you, Clank? Uh, it then dashes. Comes right right upon you, Clank. Oh. It'll pass pass to its uh, friend, uh, negligent, negligent uh, cold lights call. Well, just a minute, negligent. They're so tiny. Yeah, what what do we see when it comes around? They the need to make they need to make these skull dudes out of like giant skulls. Wouldn't that be dope? Imagine you're a necromancer, okay? And you could make a flame skull. And the ingredients just say a skull. Like, why wouldn't you just go get the biggest fucking skull you could? Then you could ride around in it. You know what I'm saying? You like you like chop the top off. And then there's like a bowl where the brain used to be, and you ride in that as it's like flying around. Dashes are there. <laughs> Just saying. I mean, right. it's gonna pass to its friend uh, Crammed. Uh, Cold uh, Light Skull. It's like the Miata of skulls. <laughs> oh, Bowser. see, I'm sort of picturing a Bowser clown car situation, or maybe a Dr. Wily, but. Right here, sees all you there, and oh, going yeah. to cast uh, uh, cold snap. Oh, uh, because if you had these things cast Cinelock Snowball instead of Fireball, I was going to like fly to your location and give you a hug because that would be amazing. I didn't, I didn't realize that was a spell. Like, I knew that. That's what I did. <laughs> it's like one of the worst spells in the game. It's it's. Oh no! It's like, <laughs> it, it, it's like discount cold based Fireball. Here you go. Wow, that actually that sucks. Uh, cold snap at a at a point you choose within 150 feet, an explosion of blue flames erupts. Each creature in a 10 foot radius sphere, center of that point, must make a DC 16 dexterity saving throw. Target takes 26, or in this case 31. Okay. Wow. Okay. It ignites flammable objects. That's rough. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, our mayor idea just went down the drain. So are these? Are they on fire or no? I thought uh, it was dealing cold fire? damage. It, did cold it, dam it, it does cold damage. How's it going to set the mayonnaise on fire? My, I can only take so much suspension of disbelief. I mean, I want to say there's, there was a part in this adventure where if you guys went in that pathway, you would learn a little bit more about this. But uh, uh, okay, okay. You know, who knows? You might learn. You might learn a little bit more later on too. All right. So, so uh, uh, robot vetoes. <laughs> Yeah. Who, uh, yeah, where's this cast at? Uh, it's right on top. It's hitting you, it's hitting Hellebore, Vitos, and Squeaky. Okay. Uh, that's a lot of damage. At least it's a death that... save. Yeah. I can't save because cold damage. <laughs> yeah. That's true. And it's not dealing D8s like cold damage either, so that's good. Um, shit balls. Take half. Yeah! You take none. Alrighty. Uh, does that, and then it kind of just gets a little bit closer. Right up right up on you. Hello, boy. Oh. Uh, if you took damage, you can steal, so... Uh, okay, also, so it's half or full, right? Half or... Yeah, it's, ha it's saved for half. 
Don't forget your 10 HP. Can Squeaky succeed at a cost? Um. Hmm. That's yes, Vito's Vito's brother. Is he about to be on fire? Yeah, he is about to be on fire. Um. Yeah, he's gonna. He wants to succeed if he can before he bursts <laughs> into flames. Mm, I don't know. Let me think about that. Okay. Uh, I mean, they're MP. I mean, NPCs. No, I. I think succeeding at a cost is only for for for, piece, for Has PCs. Has Juan ever succeeded at a yep. cost? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. Right. Also, he is now on fire. <laughs> What's hot in here? Uh, you realize that the fire that's coming off of him is uh, cold. And not actually discolored, but, but blue. Oh, it's like that troll, remember? Wait, is that the one on the map? Yeah. There are oh. And oh, let me oh. pause. All right, and so that's him. Uh, so uh, either Vitos or Squeaky can steal, if you guys want to steal. V Vitos, you gonna steal? Yeah, Vitos is gonna steal. Okay. All right, Vitos, you're going. Are these tiny? Yes, they're considered. Okay, so that tiny. means we can move through this space mm -hmm. as difficult terrain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh oh. What? <laughs> There's another one over here. Ah, uh, god damn it! All right, let's go ahead and get this guy. Both of those, yeah, both of those hit, and you're doing one-handed, right? Yes. All right, so you hit him the first time, he takes 10 points of bludgeoning damage. He's vulnerable to, to, to bludgeoning. Nice. Uh, and then takes 20 points of bludgeoning damage. Woo! Nice hit. He's crumbly. He's crumbly. Yeah. That's a good sign. Then in that case... Yep, okay. Then I'm gonna pass to Squeaky. Alright, Squeaky. Squeaky, gonna... you take you take five points of cold damage. Okay. Squeaky is squeaking. And then miners it's twice, right? Uh, it depends. What is it? What is his minor? It, you see, uh, if you look on his on his stat, it says multi attack and has a little two next to it. That means he can do two minor attacks. It for one for one action. So yeah, you can hit twice. Okay. Smash this guy twice. Hey, it's bring you money, all right. All right. Oh, also on your oh, so okay. I forgot another thing too. You took five, five cold damage, but you also gained seven because your shield guard and you regenerate. Okay, so, so he gains two. Yeah, he gains two. All right, so 20, 24 for seven and or 14 and 24, 18. All right. Just check something real quick. Okay, good, good. All right. Uh, yeah, you uh, smack it, and it kind of uh, uh, cracks and falls to the ground. Sweet. All right. Okay, he will uh, pass to Zathu. All right, Zathu. Am I able to, like... 
Oh my god, I always forget. It's difficult terrain to go past a, an, an ally? Look, there you go. Mm -hmm. You had to oh, walk wow. through. <laughs> <laughs> to walk through an ally is difficult terrain, but you, you have the diagonal there. Oh, that diagonal works? Okay. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> if the wall doesn't stop you, you're fine. Yeah, get in here and smash some stuff. What do you think I'm trying to do? Well, I don't know. But, like, literally smash some stuff, because they seem to be weak against smashing. Yeah, they're icy covered uh, bones. Alright. Um, Trident Ing. Boy, Ooh, both of those hit. Sadly, as you uh, poke at them. Um... No. Oh wait, wait, never mind. You're, you know, you're, you're good. You're good. All right. So you take eleven and uh, twelve. You're hitting this one right next to Clank. Yeah. All right, eleven and twelve. Oh, I didn't even notice that one behind me. Uh oh. All right. It's okay. I think they're not as big as we think they are. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, he is crumbling. I mean, <clears throat> one fireball a piece every three rounds on average. I mean, it's pretty good. If, they, uh, if you guys didn't have stealing <laughs> for the start of the dungeon, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I only used flame skills in mass when I want to be like, hey guys, fuck you. I mean the the written adventure is the <laughs> No, I know, I know. That's that's how you let people know this is gonna be legit. Like I told you it was a whore. Yeah. yeah. Alright, uh, anything else from Zafu? No. And I'm gonna pass to Quan. No, I'm gonna pass to Selena. Right, you can pass Selena. to Quan. I'm good. Oh, okay, I'll pass to Quan. <laughs> Quan, get in here and smash, boy! He's got right, smashy Quan. stuff. Fine. But like actually smash stuff. Don't stab stuff he, like the has, other he Goliath a, did. He, he has a great, he has a, he has a great axe. So, how come, how Look come your skulls. players, how come your players never bullshit a bunch of nonsense? Like, well, I'm gonna hit He's him with the flattest flat part of my weapon. <laughs> See, he is up I mean, damage. Right, cool. I mean, if you want to do that, it's a weapon. Come on, Old look at that. And you then carry yeah, like yeah, if you want, golf bag. You had a Casey Jones. Yeah, you had a Casey Jones bag. I mean, if you want to do that, it'll be an improvised weapon. All right, he's going to come here. And he's like, people think I'm a tough DM. They got to play with this Dom guy. Jeez. Uh, and he got him more. Got him moving unless he dash. Okay, he's just gonna go ahead and dash through here. Through that flaming guy? Does he catch on fire? No, because he's not covered in oil. All at this point. Mm. Right now. Yeah, right now Wait. he's not covered in oil. <laughs> All right, Quan Quan dashes to this side, and then he uh says, "Oh, there's a bigger room over here." Well, that's great. All right, and then he'll pass to uh Clank. Clank's good at smashing stuff. Uh, Clank's gonna look really upset that they just lit his new friend on fire. Um, let's see how close it is. He goes to his, uh, that's close. Uh, I'm gonna bring out a rock and just crush it in my hand. It's like you don't hurt Squeaky. And I'm gonna cast a turn on it. Nice. All right. What's the DC? Uh, my DC. It's on my spell. Great. Uh, Great. 16. Uh, it's a wisdom save, right? Yep. All right. And it's how many people? And it's uh, also they, they get they die if they're below what? Uh oh yeah my CR I think it's CR one. Right and do they have to have line of sight with you? Uh, hearing. Hearing? Okay. 30 feet. 30 feet. Oh, he's just out of it. Okay, so that one's not going to get it. So it's just these two. 
me I couldn't hear I couldn't see that one so I didn't know. Alright, uh save wisdom. And your DC was what? Sixteen. Sixteen. Alright, no negligent uh passes, but uh well dressed fails. And what's the what's your insta kill thing? Oh, uh, C R one or lower. C R one, okay, yeah. It doesn't die. But it is it's scared of you now, Clint. The filer. Uh, and I'll pass to Selene. Right. <clears throat> Does that stop if I damage them? Yeah, I think that's how it works, right? Yeah. Yeah, take any damage. Okay, then I won't. I mean, kill it. That's fine. Well, I don't know if I could kill it. Let's see, use your um, Come over here. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of see that one. Gonna. <clears throat> any damage threat, so I think just fire bolts since they aren't flame skulls. Wait. Might as well see. Mmm. Mmm, that fire. As the fire bolt uh, heads towards it, it like passes through uh, um, over Zothu's head, comes around and goes right into him, and as it gets to gets to him, it gets absorbed by its uh, cold flames. Okay. Mm. Mm. Good to know. It's immune to fire. Oh, oh, see, real flame skull. Um, you know, fire and cold. Uh, Old flame I skull. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so then I'll let him back up after that. And I'll say, yeah, um, they're not weak to fire. And then I'll. Pass I was hoping to... for it because Giffy glyphs, but. <laughs> I'll pass to. Hellebore. Yeah, I gave I gave bludgeoning. <laughs> Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Hellebore is gonna say, "All right, smashing, huh?" Hmm. Okay. Um, Go ball. <laughs> she's gonna take aim at this one hmm? and uh, use her sling. Oh man, bring it back! Bringing it back. Kacha! I think that that'll work. Alright, uh, 21 for 4. Yeah, oh, that hits. And, and then the sneak attack. Well, that's 8. And then sneak attack, which is, you know, also doubled because it's, uh, considered bludgeoning. Yeah, so this thing, uh, you, like, crack it into its skull. Your, uh, you know, leave a hole in there. Your, your, uh, sling bolt lands inside there. And as it does that, you see its eyes glow, uh, uh, blue as it does this. What? It explodes on itself. Oh. What the hell? How come the other one didn't do that? Oh, if its ability is charged. Oof. Sorry about that, guys. Right. Oh, damn. Ouch. I had no idea. That's pretty cool. Yeah. We'll be adding these to the Odyssey campaign. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> I gotta make that thing too, nothing. right? Yeah, it's uh, 10 foot yeah, radius. Yeah, it's 10 foot radius around him. So it's it's Squeaky, Clank, uh, Zafu, and Quan. And Cameron. No damage man. on save or I half can. on save? Half on save. Oh. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, when you see creatures just dashing up to your, towards you. Uh, are, right, you yeah. are you victim shaming them right now? Yeah, I tried to scare them away. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> I'll commend you for that. Like when I saw that, I was like, "Oh, that's a good idea." All right, hold on. Hold uh, me, roll for Quan. Uh, save dexterity. Oh man, Ooh, poor Quan. Complication. Speed is reduced to zero to the end of your next turn. All right, Quan. Mobilize. His feet get frozen over. Yeah, his feet gets frozen over. <laughs> um, so he takes full damage and in half because. He's a glass and he's resistant to cold. So, uh, 14. Is this fire damage or cold damage? Cold damage. Okay, dang. Oh, it says fire damage. It's supposed, it's supposed to be cold. Yeah, okay. sorry. Don't, that's, it's supposed to be cold. It's not supposed to be fire. Because it's cold, cold snap ability is cold damage. I forgot to change the little thing there. These things do not do uh, fire damage. Yeah, I figured not much in this campaign does. Yeah. 
All right. Um, anything else on Hellebore's turn? Oh, no, I, I mean, I use the uh, aim, so I can't do nothing else. Um, wait, item interaction. <laughs> Can I throw? <laughs> no, nah, that would just make it worse. Never mind. Oh, okay, I'm done. I'll check. <laughs> uh, I will pass to... Um, oh, I guess I got to pass to this guy, right? There's, no, Velen. There's, yeah, there's Velen and the No, one... no, no. We want Velen to control the initiative. So I'll pass to Snappish. All right, Snappish. Snappish starts. He uh, comes over here. Next to Vitos. Just make sure he can... He just, you know, yeah, he can, yeah, he can see. He can see right here. Uh, you can see his eyes glow. And uh, he's going to go ahead and cast another cold snap. Right here. This is Vitos and Hellebore. What again? Really? Yep. <sighs> Oop. God damn it. Don't forget your rogue things. Don't forget and don't forget that uh if you have, you know, remember your resistances. Yeah, so I take half and half again, because evasion and then um whatever that other shit's called. Yeah. Cold resistance. Okay. So six points of damage. All right, uh, it's his turn, and then he'll pass to Velen. Uh, Velen slowly walks in. Uh, uses all of her movement, uh, which is 15. Oh, that would be and playing Her only 15. Yeah, she's 80-something she's oh, years old. Yeah. Uh, you know, some people. All right, and she's seeing see things from power right walkers. here. Uh, she uh, turns to uh, Selena and says, what's going on? You, you know the average flame skull, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, they appear to have these guardians, which are cold flame skulls. Know See, anything about that? I do know a bit about flame skulls. One thing that they don't really die when you kill them. Oh, how can and we kill uh, that? And that'll be her that's action. That's a cliffhanger, yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> that's her action for this turn. She'll pass to you, Selena, in the new round. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Come back into the room. There are flames, uh, cold flame skulls on each side. Has either of these ones taken damage yet? Uh, no. no. Neither of them, huh? Okay. Um. Satu's just cold. Staring at you. Mm. It's a staring contest. I have a staring contest with <laughs> if it if it'll keep it occupied, not explode. Um, let's immune to fire. Take a damage. So yeah, let's do a normal. Told the dead on it then. I'll do the one next to Sathya. All right. All righty. Seventeen wisdom. Okay. Alright, takes half of that. Oh, and then too. as you as you do that and it you know the necrotic energy is entering it, you kinda of see that it also gets somewhat absorbed by its flames. But this one is resistant. Okay. So it takes, it takes one. half. <laughs> yeah, it takes one. <laughs> one necrotic damage. But now it's hurt. Okay. <laughs> it's alright, next turn I got him. I got his number next turn. Well he's gonna steal though. Yeah, he's gonna steal. I'm gonna move back in. Alright. Sorry. Not gonna be very useful with <laughs> Alrighty, uh, let's see. That was negligent. Yeah, negligent's definitely gonna steal. All right, negligent's gonna come up, and uh, oh, he hasn't done it yet. All right, yeah, he's just gonna stand right here, see this group of people right here, where this other cold snap happened, and do another one. I'm sorry. I think I think Squeaky's going down. Oh no! 
squeaky. <laughs> squeaky is not squeaking. I just need me double check something real quick about. Uh... Is the robot already at zero? Oh, yeah, he, he took three of those things, man. He's fucking dead. <laughs> they fucking glass cannoned him, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we can't have anything nice in this campaign. That's... I know. I, I yeah. When Dom said the entrance is pretty small, I'm like, you made us, you <laughs> gave us the robot, <laughs> make us walk all the way out here with it, and then it can't go into well, the dungeon. I then he, then I mean... he literally just kills it in the first room. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, the the adventure uh, killed him in the first room. I don't I mean, know. Mm -mm. Let, let's be honest. He was he was all scribbled on and squeaky, so he wasn't that nice to begin with. <laughs> also, you guys sent him. You sent him in the middle in 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 the front too. Oh, in the middle did, of the room. Did, okay. We're victim shaming again. All right, all right. Never oh, mind. You guys, you guys, you guys <laughs> tried your best. You know, these Is he monsters. Still burning? Uh, he would have been burning until the end of this round. At the end of his turn. Ah. Uh, All right. Uh, I was just reading his abilities too, and I was like, "Oh, that'll be cool. That'll be cool." Uh, let's see. Uh, Quan failed. Uh, Clank failed. No, no, Clank. Wait, was that? Oh, that yeah, was I failed, your... and that's my failed. guidance check. And then uh, Zafu. Go ahead. You passed. Already, Go already did. Yeah. Oh, where? Oh, oh, down there. I see it. Okay. Yeah. I had to zoom. I had to scroll down. All right. You're good. All right. You're good. Um, sweet, so seven. Uh, 12. All righty. Um, yeah, that's his turn. Uh, anybody who took damage can steal. From that last attack can steal? Yeah. Okay, so that's not me. Safi, do you want to do you want me to go? Uh you can steal if you want. Uh, we're going like squeaky no and I'm gonna charge up in front. Oh, I will get here actually. Okay. And I will uh I guess I will mace and boom and quit it. Alright. All right, uh, 19 hits for 14 and 16 damage. They're we they're also vulnerable to thunder. I shall let smack down for a while. Um, right. I will claim out that they are weak to thunder as well. And uh, and eight, 16. Things crumbling. Uh, looking at this thing, can I do a, a knowledge check to try to understand a little bit more? Uh, bonus action. Bo go if you want to do a a uh, religion or a arcana, either one of those can for bonus action. Now let's check. You want to do that? Yeah, Clank, you're not sure. You just know it's a it's a floating it's a floating skull. It's That's covered ball. in ice. Get it, Zathu. All right, passing to Zathu. Uh, I, actually, I'll pass to Quan and ask him to maybe put out Squeaky since he's frozen in place. All right. Squeaky's on fire, put him out! Quan will use the help action on, on Squeaky and put out his fire. Alright. One of us is help pass the class artificer and then come back and get him. <laughs> he'll pass the he'll pass this off. Alright. All right, uh, no. complication. Uh, uh, pass luck. One random combatant beside uh, besides you may roll <laughs> for a boon or gain one fortune. Oh wow! So one random combatant beside one random right, combatant besides you. Uh oh, um, I, I, uh, the other ones that say this basically everyone rolls a d20 whoever gets the highest is uh okay so yeah everybody everybody roll a d20 and i'll roll one for enemies like what does enemies right. count in this yeah they're right, combatants so, yeah i'll just roll one d20 for enemies boo one for allies. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh. Wow. So. Rod. Ethos. Selena. Hellebore. Plank. What about Valen? Hello? Yeah, I'll I'll roll for Valen. Or was the 16 for Valen? 16. Oh! Oh, Oh, she rolled a 16 too. Did Quan roll? Oh, Quan didn't roll. Let's see what Quan does. We're oh, acting man. like this boon is gonna make or break the whole game. Uh, <laughs> so does the skull I mean, and could. does the you skull and Velen have to uh, roll off for it? Uh, yeah. Let's do skull and Velen rolling off. Okay. Uh, so this is skull. This is Velen. Oh, dude. Ooh. All right, Velen won. All right, Velen right. gets a boon. Yeah. You de age forty years. Uh, you can use a reaction to move up to half your speed. This move take is one step forward. <laughs> <laughs> Poor villain. She takes one step forward. <sighs> I Poor time to shine, youngins. Let me show you how it's done. Watch how it's done, Selena. There it is. My, that was there's my attempt at OLED. Though. Yeah, I know. That was almost a voice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Um, that was Athu's turn. Oh, let me finish doing everything else that you were doing. So that was that 11 that uh, missed, and then the 26 that does hit for 12 uh, and kills it. Hurrah. <laughs> well, no, I down. feel you done. Voices are kind of hard sometimes. All right. Anything else from Zafu? No. I'm going to pass it to you. Uh, I'm going to pass to. Oh, man. Uh, Vitos. All right, Vitos. All right. Vito's got that hammer. He's gonna he's gonna wreck it. Avenge his baby. He's gonna yell out, "Squeaky!" All right. Uh, twelve. Oh wait. Oh, okay. No more. Twelve misses. Thirteen hits. Uh, do you want that twelve to continue to miss? Yeah, I'll succeed at a cost on the twelve. I'll reroll the damage. You're blinded. Oh crap, and that means the second one was at disadvantage, which is still 13, so you're good. Alright, so, uh, uh, eight, 18 and 10. And then here's the damage for that reroll. Oh yeah, the reroll. So, alright, it was still 18. So, 18 and 10. Things crumbling. I'm gonna pass to Hellebore and be like, please help! Wait, let me just make sure. Oh, that one, that one's gonna steal. Alright, Snappish uh, Cold Light Skull is gonna steal. Let's see if he gets his Cold Snap back. Wait, this one right here is gonna steal? Yeah. Uh, I didn't. Yeah. Alright, what it's going to do, uh, Vitos is gonna try and. Uh... Oh, where is it? And try and latching, latchingly bite at you. Oh my goodness! All right. Oh God! <laughs> All right. Wait, All right. So who, who did he do this to? He's biting Vito's face. Yeah. <laughs> oh All my right. God! So he gets a boon. <laughs> You gain a fortune. Oh. And Vito's that skull's the... rich! Arcan- Oh my goodness, really? Wild magic sir? Oh, Wild come magic. On. Another one? Alright, hold on, maybe. Where's that, uh, where's that, uh, that Another link? Another one that's like a 5% chance it happens. Alright, where's that link again? Any compass. Well. I have it as a rule table. So, 1,000, 10,000, whatever. I know I, I have it too in my uh, on my like when I'm in PV, but not in a rhyme. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. Alrighty. So as he bites you and Vitos tries to struggle away, uh, a like flash of energy flies out from uh, the point of impact and Velen's 
uh, wand of uh, um, magic missiles goes off uh, into a random direction, hits a wall. Uh, uh, Selena's uh, wand of web goes off. Uh, hmm, let me see. Let me give me give me a give me a, let me do a d8 real quick. Five, two, three, four, five on Velen. All right. Um, what else is here? Who else has? Uh... I'm glad no one. I'm glad you guys don't have the the, the wand of Orcus. Uh, <laughs> the no the the uh, uh, what was it the horn of blasting right now? Oh. Okay. Um, I think that's really it. You just make sure. Let me just check something real quick. Yeah, that's it. So we lost a charge okay. of my wand. Yeah, but it actually activated. So you, there's a web around you right now. Okay. Uh, Mike, concentrating on it or no? I guess you would have to be. Yeah, I guess. Well, if no, it's the, if, it's, if, it's, if the it's, one... it's supposed to be negative, then that's fine. I'll just, I'll just, okay. yeah. Alrighty, there you go. Um, I think because it's 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 using it says using the magic item, so like if it was used, so okay. you would be concentrating, and I guess you can just undo the concentration. Okay. Yeah. So like it blasted with out. magic missiles. Uh, the thing with magic missiles, you need a target. Oh. And I don't think she would have targeted you. Okay. So okay. it just went off. All right. Ooh. So everything's okay. But you guys did lose one charge off of those, both of those things. All right. All right. Uh, but Vitos, you did get latched onto. Mm -hmm. um, and that'll be the end of its turn because it latched onto you. It will pass to hello, uh, to hello Okay, hold still, Vitos. I can't see you. Okay. All right. Do I have a line of sight to this thing or no? I mean, can you see it in your? Yeah, yeah. I can see yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. If you can right. see it in your mini, then you got it. I will take an aim, and mm -hmm. I will sling attack it as it's attached to my friend's face. Thirteen. Uh, thirteen. Uh, hits. Yeah. Okay. And here's some sneak attack. Yeah. Again. So 20, it's, so 40 points of damage. It's, bi it's biting on, on Vitos' uh, snout. And you, uh, right in the back of its head, you crack a hole in it. And your uh, sling bullet lands inside of its cranium. Nice. It falls to the floor. All right. Somebody All right. grab that fortune token before it disappears. All right. That's the end of combat. Uh, can somebody come do a medicine check on me so I can see again? Oh, uh, yeah, you need medicine? Yeah, it's, uh, I need a DC 17. I only got a, a 17. I think that's what it said, right? 8 plus your level. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, w what happens if I if I don't succeed on this? You're also guidanced, remember, Hellbor. Oh, okay, let's throw that guidance out there then. There you go. Ah. I turned to Vel and we're both stuck in the web. It was like, that was strange. Then she'll release concentration. <laughs> can I, can yeah, I stick off was... Uh, sure, you can, you can take a look at him. This is dying, what am I doing to him? Well, is like part of his face peeled off, or I mean, how how bad is it? Uh, not it wasn't. He didn't get that far yet. Oh, it was just a bite. Okay. It does seem very cold where he was bit, though. Like he, he saw some frost getting, uh, kind of like some of his some of his fur is kind of frozen solid a bit. Let me just double. Let me just read this real quick. Uh, okay. 
Oh, okay, never mind. Oh dang, yeah. If he was he was he was actually reduced to zero. Dang. dang. Yep. So he's gone forever. Oof. Wow. Well that really sucks. Yeah. Vitas looks over him and says, I'm sorry I let you down, Squeaky. And he takes the necklace. He looks at Selena. And he hands the necklace back to Selena. He takes it. Wow. That was super anticlimactic. Uh, yeah, hold, <laughs> hold still, Vitos. We're gonna slap this bayonet on you, schnoz. <clears throat> There you go, 16, 16 points yeah. of healing. Actually, it might be more than that now. Let's see. Uh, additional hit points equal to the maximum number of hit dice. Oh. So... Uh, it's actually plus 13 now. Oh, yeah, so yeah, it would be... Uh, it would be 16. Yep. I gotta change my um, macro here. Right. Um. Weird question. Do, do like do shield guardians have like? Is it like is it, do they have like a core or something? Because they're constructed, right? Yeah. Um, can we salvage any useful core? parts to make building another one cheaper? Yeah. Because we still sure, have the amulet, so I could use this amulet to yeah make another yeah. one. And if we get the know, core, it'd be the same squeaky. <laughs> um. Yeah. If you want to salvage his core, sure. Okay. Uh, it'll take it'll take a bit of time. Yeah. Well, I guess also, uh, Velen says, uh, again, uh, things. One thing you want to know about, uh, at least I'm not sure so much about these. I've never seen them icy like this, but I do know flame skulls. They uh, they usually come back after they've been dealt with after some time. What do we have to do to prevent that from happening? Um. Hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, any, anybody here uh, want to help me work this out? Think about this. You need yeah. some like uh, Arcana help. Like, yeah, like a arcana. skill check. What are you doing here? Yeah, yeah, like a, yeah, like a, somebody who's uh, skilled with the uh, Arcana or religion, or something uh, like that. I didn't understand it. V <laughs> Vito says both. You you ready? All right, let's work this. Let's take a look at him and. Guide him, Plank. Him. Guide him. I have guidance. Let's like, let's lean squeaky up against the corner. That way, the next people that come here, they're gonna be really scared. All right, go ahead, Vito. Give me a, yeah, give me okay. a either, <laughs> either, either Arcana or Religion. You can have it with. Uh, if you do Arcana, yeah. you'll have it at advantage with that one. Could you imagine if every NPC we got died the first fight they got in? Jesus. <laughs> All right, uh, Vitos, uh, you know that, uh, um, you know, typical flame skulls, uh, you would need to, like, you know, douse them in, like, holy water or something like that after they have been dealt with for them to not uh, uh, come back to life in, uh, oh, with that roll, yeah, you would know they would come back, usually would come back to life in about an hour. So Vitos reaches out and he's like, I've been holding on to this holy water for a long time and I think I know what to do with it now. <laughs> level one. Level. It, and, is that uh, enough for... Leah, let's pile them all into one pile and you just pour it on I, top of all... I mean, they're tiny. Yeah, they're tiny. Yeah. yeah. I, got two, I got two things of holy water, so... We'll gather up all four of them and I'll... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll scoop a little, little like bowl of snow... You know, like make a little bowl and put all the pots in there, and then. I mean, you do have this uh, this thing that's under. You want to move Squeaky like in the corner right here? Yeah, and, like turn him yeah. a little bit so his head's this way. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll get rid of the. Uh... Or we could put him yep. against this ledge and that's, climb up. That's Squeaky. Uh, but, you know, it's hard, is it all right if I take Squeaky's head? Yeah, I mean, 
uh, also within this room, uh, I'll reread the, the thing. Uh, 30, you know, 30 foot high uh, cavern. The center there is a range of a wooden ship, hull, uh, resting on the floor. That's what this thing in the middle is right here. Is it like a totally wrecked ship, or is it like intact? It's like a, uh, it's like a, like a, a. It does look like it is wrecked, pretty oh, wrecked. Man. We found Squeaky on a boat, and he died on the boat. <laughs> Anybody want to search it? You do see that it's it's made out of wood, but you kind of see like um, intricate uh, uh, um, like designs on it that uh, none of you seem to recognize. Also, let me mm -hmm. turn off these guys' lights. I mean, well, uh, Velen says, well, we're, we're, we came in here to look for this, uh, that ancient city. So maybe, maybe the orb will know something. Maybe back to yeah. you, Velen, so I think you have it. Maybe the professor. I think Selena had the rock. Oh, I thought I gave it to you for something. All right, I'll pull out the orb. Frank, you showed him? We need your expertise. I point him towards the ship. It says, uh, he looks at it. I squint a bit and says, uh, ah, a nethery sky coach. I've always wanted to ride in one, uh, though it's pretty it's no longer in one piece. Hmm. Like a flying ship? Ah, uh, yes. The nethery used to use them to travel between their cities. Hmm. Is it dangerous? Uh, I don't. I don't think so. Uh, it's just a. It's like a. What do you guys use over here now? Uh, a cart with a, a horse or a, something like. It's kind of like that, I guess. Like but a dog a, sled. Sure, a dog sled. We could have hooked it up to Squeaky. Squeaky. Okay, so we solved the. We think we solved the flame skull problem. Do we want to try and get that core out or just keep going? We can just leave him here and it by the time we get back. Yeah, we can look at the boat and try to get the core out. Okay. All right, who's looking at the boat? Uh, what do you need? Like investigation for that? Yeah, it'll be investigation. Yep. Does anybody want to help me look with me? Yeah. I'll do Right, Vitos. Uh, you find inside the inside the boat a uh, a large iron safe uh, with a combination lock that has. Uh, let me just check something real quick. Real quick. Um, has uh, who's helping him? Uh, Selena. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. You guys find this large uh, safe. And you can see that it has a combination lock with numbers written in it from one to zero in Draconic Sprit. Oh. oh, an actual puzzle. Um, how many how many number slots are there? It's just it's just a, it's a combination lock, like you know, like a path combination lock, and it's one to it has a the, the turning, mm -hmm. and it's a one to, zero to fifty. Where is this at? On the ship. By his, on the ship. There's it's a ship the frozen under the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's like a floor safe. Yeah. There's just an iron safe. Yeah, in the ship. The ship. Ow. Pick it out. Okay. Good uh, you try and you try and reach. To, you try and lift up the safe. The safe and bring it out. Uh, do we need to do that to access it or no? Um, not necessarily. No. Okay. Uh. Oh hmm. uh, sure. It, um... Hey, as you try and lift it up, it's very, very heavy. 
Yeah, you might say it's about 200 pounds. Yeah, it's not for me. I couldn't lift it. Hey, Quan, are you hey, Quan, are, your feet, Quan. Are, you, are your feet still frozen? Uh, no, I think I'm fine now. Takes <laughs> this skull away. <laughs> comes over. Uh, you need help with this thing here? Yeah. Right, he, he picks it up and puts it down on the floor right here. Nice. So strong. It's good stuff. All right. Can I like? Can I like do? Can I like turn the tumblers into a perception check to hear the click? <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, you know, it'll be really good for that. Uh, thieves' tools. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Huh? You can good at cracking the safes. Uh, absolutely not. But I will try. Okay. Is there any way that I could bullshit some advantage here? Or, uh, any, um, any, well, anyone else at all have any skills? Thank you for the guidance. <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. Nobody? Okay. I guess I'll burn one of these inspirations. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Should I just roll something that I have proficiency with dexterity in? It's, it will be a dexterity. Uh, if you're proficient with, with thieves tools, it will be a dexterity or proficiency. Everything else that has dexterity, I have um, expertise in, so that won't work. Uh, I think I have them in my inventory. I mean, you have a plus four, so give me a dex check and I'll add plus four to it. But oh. uh, hidden. Well, actually, no, Thieves Tools is not. We don't usually do hidden for Thieves Tools. So, yeah, just roll a dex check and I'll add plus four. Okay. Or I'll just roll a d20 plus, what is it, uh, proficiency. And I've only got a 16 dex, so plus seven. All right. Sure. Here we go. And I'll roll in it twice. Oh, didn't need to roll it twice, I don't think, but there we go. All right. All right. Uh, you, uh, it takes you guys, it takes you about, let me see. It takes you about a minute to, you know, get it through and work it out, you know, hearing clicks and stuff like that, and it opens. And inside, uh, you see the safe contains a bag that looks like, looks brand new. Wow. Uh, a bag? Yep. Oh, Hellboy, you know what that is. Uh, oof. I'm afraid to hope, honestly. And she looks over at the, the destroyed um, shield guardian. I mean, you already have a, a thing that's basically it's a bag like 10 bags of holding, hole right? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. First things first. I'm going to put this potential bag of holding inside my extra dimensional quiver just to test. No, 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 no. Um, okay, yeah, this is a bag. Mm -hmm. the... Selena. Selena. Let's put Squeaky in there. Bag. Also, bag. Arcana. Can I roll an arcana? Uh, if you want to identify it, it would be a uh, you know virtual identify, or spend an hour. You can kind of guess what it what what it is, and I'll get you an arcana. I think Clank is identify, right? Clank, do you have identify? Like, I'm sorry, I, I meant try to. Uh, I was on mute. Uh, yeah, I do have identify. Okay. You guys gonna spend a ten minutes to do it? Sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, you guys spend uh ten minutes. Uh, yeah, it is a bag of holding. Dope is uh, uh it, show me everything that's inside of you, and I turn right. it upside down. All right, comes out of it is uh four uh amethysts. Pipe. Um, and a uh, black crystal ring with the shape of, of ram's heads on it. Uh, looking at it, you it's obviously Shardlin. So Shardlin, a Shardlin ring with the pop, tops of the ring looks like uh, the heads of rams. What? Do you think it's a ring of the ram? What? I mean, be, first be <laughs> careful if it's hot or not, or I guess cold or not. Oh. Does it look like active Shadowland? I mean, you can't. You, it's hard to tell by just looking at it. Oh my god. 
Okay. Hey, Velen! Come touch it. <laughs> I ain't touching that crap. <laughs> Madam! <laughs> the language on you! <laughs> Quan. And she kind of no, nudges uh, it with, uh, her, I, with her foot. I ain't, I ain't touching that <laughs> crap either. All right, she'll pick it up. All right, it's cold. Okay. Um. All right. Identify these things too. Yeah, I mean, nothing's coming to kill us so far, so sure. Might yep. as well do it while we can, right. before we're, we're fucking ass deep in this dungeon. Yep, it is a ring of the ring. What? Bonus action, fast hands, baby. I'm just saying. I feel terrible because normally when I play D and D as a as a player, I try to play a support character. Magic items show up, and I'm like, eh, I'm the DM all the time. I get to be like dragons and all sorts of crazy shit. I'm not gonna like hop in on this treasure and shit. But like with with Hellebore and being able to use magic items as a bonus action, I just feel like the greediest son of a bitch I mean, in the like the whole world. In the whole <laughs> world, I mean, I don't know. It's it just feels it feels good, but it also feels horrible. You know, like I don't want to be that player, but I'm also like. It just makes sense because bonus action items. I, I don't know. have three of them, right? How many do you have? Well, attuned, right? I don't. Yeah. I don't know if a ring of a ram requires attunement. Uh, it does. It does. Oh, it does. Damn. Yeah. Mm. Uh, let's see. I currently have one attuned item, my cloak. Because nothing else we've built or made requires attunement. Yeah, I mean, careful if you've got with, the action, careful with here, the I... though. We don't know it. No, wait, 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 wait. I think I have two because the winner's embrace that we built does require two men because it is a uh, armor also resistance. Your, also, your your weapon. Uh, it does? Really? Yeah, because you have to have it to... That's the reason why it's considered magical. Ah, uh, really? Hmm. So socketed items ought to require two men? Yeah. Okay. What? All socketed items require attunement. That's what you have three. You have three sockets, and being attuned to it allows mm -hmm. it to be magical. So that's why you can you you can. That's why Clank's thing doesn't work on it anymore. Hmm. Okay. Never mind. I guess I'm tapped out. I'll change these items to actually require attunement. There we go. You want to hold on to the bag too, since fast hands, or? Well, for sure, a bag of holding with fast hands. Yeah, that'd be dope. Oh, but aren't you over? That's the same thing for you. Yeah, I can stash. I've honestly, I have all my useful stuff stashed in the quiver, anyways. So, so yeah, somebody else should probably take this bag of holding. An amazing ring. Ugh. You can always give something up for it. Hmm. The armor that keeps me alive, the <laughs> cloak that keeps me alive, or the bow that allows me to hit things that I could normally hit. Uh, I think I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And strength they've shoved, shoved somewhere around. I should have played an artificer. Then I could have all the magic items. I mean, sorry, I guess but... I know a lot of now, then. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Fidos, do you have a uh, a two minute slot? You can do the Ring of the Ram. Uh, yeah, I have that pendant or that necklace that I gave back to Selena because I feel bad about Squeaky. But, but other than that, isn't I'm good. your DPS kind of like better than a Ring of the Ram, anyways? I have a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Who uh, who sucks at DPS? Me and Zathu don't have range. Really. Oh yeah, it should come down to you and Zathu then. Nice coin. Like I've got, I've probably got more range than Tatu. But wait, it, like it's also made of Charlotte, so I don't know if that's about to. Oh yeah, I don't want to touch it. It's Charlotte. <laughs> this yeah. this ring has three charges and regains one d three expended charges daily at dawn. While wearing this ring, you can use an action to expend one to three charges to attack one creature within sixty feet. Ooh, yeah, that's probably good for Zathu. Yeah, the ring produces a spectral ram's head, and makes us because she's got like a ten speed or something, uh, with a plus seven bonus on a hit. For each charge, it does two d ten force damage and is forced five feet away from you. 
Wow. Or you can break something. Yeah, that's cool. It should be inside your guys' folder. Oh, wow. It could do a plus 15 strength check to break some shit if you decide to do it that way. Oh, that's pretty cool. It should be, it should be in, your, in your guys' the magic item folders in the, in the item, so you can drag it on, on whoever Sheeta wants to go on to. Yeah, Man, you have a bag of tricks, charred, too. Lena, I'm not going to touch it. I've, I've had bad experiences with that. But it's cold, so it should be safe. Last time I touched Tardlin, though, it, it blew up on me. Literally. Yeah, bag of tricks. Probably oh, better. Yeah. Okay. Seems like there are four, four passages. Looking at the the amethyst real quick, do I? Can I tell what quality they are? They are all, um, they are all pristine. So four 100 GP amethysts. All right, maybe, maybe we shouldn't send some people who are loud and clanky up front, um, I don't know if someone else wants to look ahead. Hellebo would be the most qualified, but... Yeah, sure, I'll check it out. Uh, let's Actually, see... Hmm. Give you another guidance. Uh, looking down here, it would be a 20-foot drop to get into this room. Uh, you nah. can see that this room is pretty uh, pretty large. We'll go this way. Oh, yeah, that's left. Up oh, and cleared. All right. We'll go what this can, way. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. Uh, and in, cleared. Inside this uh, this uh, uh, ruined uh, uh, ship, you did see uh, four skeletons wrapped in, like, uh, worn out, uh, uh, fro staff frozen over, um, <gasps> silky skull, uh... Blank, uh, you could talk to him and force Dom to pretend he's from they, the Netherese Empire. They have no skull, they have no heads. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, those are the oh, wait. Cool they're, they're been... skulls. <laughs> <laughs> and we destroyed them, so... How well. convenient, Dom, how convenient. I, I think, I think, I think, <laughs> uh, the adventure, uh... <laughs> Adventure riders uh, knew what they were doing in this one. Uh huh. Right. Hey, there's something cute. As you come across this uh, area, uh -huh. uh, Hellebore, uh, you see a uh, frost covered uh, block of stone jutting from the floor. Uh, uh, this 10 foot high cavern, 10 foot high cavern of ice. Uh, perched on top of the large of the largest stone is a emaciated cobalt with glowing red eyes. Mm. Uh, it bears its elongated uh, fangs at you, hisses, and then begins to run away. Do you let it run away? Oh, what? Well, that's weird. Oh yeah, I mean I'm stealth. Did it see me coming? Holy shit! Um, vampire cult. <laughs> totally it's totally vampire cult. Oh my god! It's so scary. You let it run away. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, did it did it hear me coming? Because I, you know, let me check. Like, let me check. Let me check your stuff. Check. Okay. Do I? I just have to constantly roll them, or do I use average? Oh, you want to use your passive? Uh, passive's twenty one. Plus okay. guidance. Let me check something. All right. Let me just do something. Okay. Here, All I'll right. just. Do you have a? Do you have a stealth? Um, status, I'll just always have it on. Uh, it's okay. I'll just keep that in mind now. Okay. All right. Okay. So you're moving stealthy. Uh, yeah, because I, got, so I got no movement penalties uh, to stealth anymore, so just stealth okay. all the time. Okay. Uh, let me rewind then. Okay. Uh, this is what you see. You do see this thing sitting on the, on the, on the, okay. On the, uh, this rock over here. Okay. Okay. Emaciated kobold fangs. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Hmm. I'm gonna slowly back up, uh, back up. Keep backing up. Uh, 
Okay, guys. There's an emaciated kobold up there. It's got fangs. Should what, what, we tell Helen? You just want me to attack it? Oh, does, does the rock know anything about... It looks a little flighty. Also, the rock's kind of loud. We don't want to spook this thing, right? Probably not. Yeah, I mean, Cobalt's first instinct is to run, on, run away from things, so it mm -hmm, makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here, what about this? What about this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, second story work, climb, climb down this ice wall while stealthing, cause rogue thief. All right, I'll read this room for you. Okay. Um, sparkling icicles as long as longswords fling from this 40 foot high uh, roof of this cavern. The floor of which is strewn with frost covered uh, blocks of stone and a toppled pillar. Uh, embedded in the east wall. Well, yeah, you won't be able to see that. Well, can you see that? Uh, yeah, you can see it. Embedded in the east wall. Um, uh, east wall. Embedded in the east wall is a glittering stone tower that appears to have crashed through the ceiling long ago. Uh, exposing the wall uh, is the exposed wall is cracked with a few uh, small holes, uh, in which uh, otherwise it's, it's intact. Uh, let me just check something real quick. Uh, do you guys have a uh, foundry sound turned on? Uh, yeah, I hear this lady laughing at me. Okay. There's a lady laughing? What? Yeah. I don't hear a lady laughing. You may want to turn on your foundry sound. It's on. Uh, you might want to make sure you have your character selected. It is. Give it some time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that's that's what this room is. Boundary sound. Psst. Might as well be roll twenty sound. All right. I'm gonna start sneaking through this room. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. All right. Are these more um, ropes and shit? Mm-hmm. Okay. <gasps> it's that guy again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has no you. Okay. I, I mean, if you want me to do active stealth checks, you could always ask me. I will always roll active stealth checks. I'm just saying that in a day, any anywhere that would be dangerous, I can't imagine that any rogue would not just constantly be stealthing. Okay. And you especially if it didn't impede their speed. Yeah. Um, I turn back to my party and said, "Did, did, did she ever give us a signal for when?" <laughs> We're supposed to come help her or something that's wrong. Okay, okay. So this. Wait, are you walk? Are you stuffing around with a with a uh, <laughs> a torch? Oh God, damn it! <laughs> I guess I am. <laughs> yeah. All right. Because uh, I'm a fucking idiot, I guess. I don't know. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see. You know what? You know what? Why would I, I wasn't still have a torch I, I wasn't on paying, though? I wasn't paying attention. We both weren't paying attention. Let's just say Hellebore is not. You guys, are, your ninth level adventurer. You've been doing this for a while. Hello, boys. Uh -huh. Very good thief. We'll just say you weren't using a torp. You also have dark vision. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. There we go. Uh, so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna say. All right. I'm gonna second story work. I'm gonna say okay. Let's like, some of you go that way and then I'll go this way, and I'll block the 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 kobold and we'll we'll capture it. Okay. If anybody is good at climbing down a wall quietly, you can come this way. But we're gonna rush into that room. We're gonna get him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wave. I'm gonna wave two fingers, and that's when you know it's time to to go down that passageway. Frank's gonna perk up when you say climbing, and then like look dejected when you say quiet. Oh. <laughs> like you're gonna, gonna you're gonna stay at the edge of the wall, uh, and then as soon as it's time, you'll be there. And you'll let everyone know when I hold up my fingers. Got it. Okay. All right, I hold up my fingers. All right, go. Go, Zathu. Go, Zlino. Right. <laughs> At that point, when Beatles <laughs> runs in. <laughs> clunk, 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 clunk. All right, we're going we're gonna to do a little bit of a... Uh, yeah, we'll do initiative for this. This will make sense. Okay. I figured Zathu and Selena would get 
closer to ready, right? Oh, I hear the laughing now. Okay. Right. I feel That's bad that woman. I, I like can't a, hear the laughing. Uh, do you have do you have That's ambient like sound? Uh, yeah, it's like a lady. It's, it's have, not a lady. Have, it's like a hyena. Do you have ambient? Do you, do you have ambient uh, sound turned on? Yeah, I got all three of the sliders all the way to the top. I don't know why you can't hear it then. It's just like the Emperor's New Clothes situation. I'm not sure. Mm. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so let me get everybody in. Why is it only showing Clank in here? Oh, there it is. I'm in there twice again. Can you remove one of mine? The more yeah. planks, the better. Yeah. 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 Oof, look at that. I'm gonna say, uh, hmm. No, he got the one, so we'll just get, we'll stick with that. Cause he heard, he heard Vito's running down that, that stair. Alrighty, he gets a complication, you get a boon. There's a major structure failure in your phone. Oh, damn. Um, okay, That's the huh? easiest fight ever. Alright, uh, 30 foot tall, tree falls, random direction. Uh, <laughs> Giant tree comes the ceiling collapses at a random location in a 15 foot wide radius zone. Those under the falling items take 22 bludgeoning damage or half that. Uh, the area underneath the section becomes filled with rubble. It is true as difficult terrain. Wow. I mean, Vito's running down uh, an icy, icy little staircase, staircase right here. This thing not being being uh, caught off guard about this. Um, so where's guys... the random location? That's the question. Yeah, that's the question. All right. Uh, I'm going to. OK, let's do this. Uh, there's this group over here. There's Hellebore's room. There's the Cobalt's room. Um, we can do uh, a D20 roll for each side, for each one. Whoever gets the lowest is the one that is the room that we're do we'll go for. Okay, okay. so Hellebore for your room, you can roll a D20. Uh, for right. this room up here, it could be Selena or Zafu or Clank. And for this room over here, we can do Vitos. So it's hurting us no matter what. No, no. If Vitos wins, it's gonna fall in in the Cobalt room. If it, if it's if it's Hellebore, it's gonna fall in the room with nobody in it. If it's you know Selena or wh whoever wants to roll over here, it'll fall in you guys over here. Okay, so Hellebore got a fourteen. Vitos, go give me a D twenty. All right, so far so good. Uh, I don't think you can get any. I mean, we'll see if you guys tie. Selena, or Zafu, or Clank, give me a d20. You want it, Zafu? Yeah, there you go. Ahead. All right, give me go ahead, Zafu. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what All right. the heck? V Vitos and Zafu roll off again. <laughs> There's no way you can tie it, me bet. <laughs> Oh dang! He, okay, what? Wow. I mean, Ovidos, what is happening to you? I mean, he want to. No, he wants. He wants, to, he wants. This is good. He wants to get these uh -oh. out of the way here. All right, okay. so it's, it's gonna fall in the in the cobalt room. I mean, we won't be able to talk to him because he's gonna be like bleeding out. But it's okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna say that he was already standing in an area where there was a bunch of rocks on the floor for a reason, and right above him is a is is more. Rocks and as you start running down this uh, area that doesn't seem that hasn't seemed to be disturbed in a long time, uh, uh, it causes a re reaction and rubble falls on top of uh, this cobalt. He takes I... uh, 4d10. You guys get the deck save, right? Yeah, he's gonna get, he's, he does get the deck save. Let me just do the save dexterity. Oh boy, poor dude. All right. And uh, he's going to take the full 4d10. So 4d10. Dead on initiative. Yeah, he's dead. 
So wow. yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me just let me just grab my, my rubble real quick. And like Vito's will be coming around the corner, and then he'll be like, "Wasn't there supposed to be some guy?" <laughs> all this dust, and be like, uh, "I don't see anybody." He was right there. He was on. He was on that rock. Well, there were a lot less rocks last time. It was. Oh. <laughs> All right, we can end initiative. <laughs> good fight, everybody. Good fight. Yeah, good get job, some, everyone. Get some orange slices. Get some orange slices. Uh, all right. On pause. <laughs> what was the boon that you got? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, you gained 510 HP. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. You were getting one of your lowest level spell slots or five. I'll take the 510 HP. I'm down the pathway of Vito since I heard a large crash. And I, are you okay? Uh, yeah, there's supposed to be someone, but I don't. Yeah, see. I think he's under all this. Oh, crap. Hopefully, we weren't supposed to, like, save him. Didn't you say he looked all kind of weird? I'm going to try an athletics check to pull his body out. Is that all right? Yep. Yeah. Oof. Eh? Yeah, yeah, you can you can pull this body out. Okay. Well there it is. How does it feel? I want all very, I want very, all the very cold. That's Extremely it. Extremely cold. Everything feels cold, cold in this campaign. Cold, scaly. Mm. Uh uh you can kinda as you're touching them. Is you it can dry feel it. or moist? Uh dry. Mm -hmm. Very, 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 very dry. Does it look like a like a normal cobalt or <laughs> uh Clank, you have you Seeing a kobold like this is kind of scary. He has very long fangs. His eyes are are beady and, and red. Um, uh, his claws seem to be uh, very elongated. Uh, it's kind of. Do I get an undead sense to it, or? Uh, I mean, it's it's dead now. <laughs> I get that, but like, as far as like you know, with like a religion or something like the see what its nature was beforehand. You can give me a religion check. If you want to guide yourself, you can do that too. I was guiding Hellebore's stealthiness. Okay. Um, I mean, maybe, Clank. Yeah, it's dead now. I mean... If we really want to talk to it, I could try, but... When there's one Cabal, there's usually more, so we could go find another one. Yeah, that makes sense. I, can we can see I what he was it? doing around here? Is this, like, is this room, like, of any importance? Is there any kind of features to this room? Mm hmm hmm mm hmm Um, let me see. No, it just seems to have been like a perch. Like some just rocks. Was, you know, it's just like it looks like it, it might have looked like he'd just been relaxing there, and then all of a sudden, uh, a cave in happened. I examine it from an arcane perspective. Sure, I guess. Yeah, why not? Okay. Um. Let me see. Let me see. He does. You're still not looking very good. Are you still blind? No, I just can't get the status marker yeah, off yeah. of my uh, my face. Yeah for, some, yeah, for some reason I can't remove it either. I'm not sure yeah, well, what's going on. I'll, I'll slap you on the back and cure wounds you at level one first to top you off. All right. Hmm. Um, uh. But yeah. You. You. Uh. That's good. Thank you, buddy. No problem. I'm sorry you got burnt alive with your shield friend. Hey, didn't I already yes. put a band-aid on you? Yeah, I was, uh, I was pretty banged Sel up. Oh. Selena, Selena, uh, yeah, this thing is, uh, is, uh, looks like a vampire. 
Okay. Uh, I pull out first scant, and I say, "Hey, weren't you an expert in vampires?" Oh yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. What? Is this? what? what is fucking this convenient. Thing? Well, that's that's what he said. It, it, <laughs> it's literally like I was looking for Eddie because I remembered that and I was looking for any reason at all to to, to ask him. So he's <laughs> like, "I'm this, this, and this." Oh, also, I love vampires. <laughs> he said. We first met him. Oh, I remember that. And then I was like, man, I hope there's no vampires <laughs> since there's no sunshine. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, I, I am an expert in vampires. Hmm. Oh, wow. This is a wow, a cobalt vampire. Is this a full? Hmm. Well, technically, any creature oh, uh, can look a vampire. Yes. Uh, yes, technically. But I've, I've never seen a full, full cobalt. Uh, yeah, that's before. pretty dope, honestly. I mean, no offense, Clank, but it's pretty dope. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, I don't want to be one, but, you know. <laughs> you know what else would be neat? Kobold wear shock. Like, isn't Kobold just cool enough? Well, I feel like Kobold is like that ice cream topping. You know, you could just kind of put it on almost anything. It's just, It'd just be cooler. Half orc, half cobalt. Professor, uh, in your opinion, how long has this thing been a vampire? Um, Is there a way to hmm. tell? Well, not necessarily because uh, uh, it's very hard to tell how long a vampire is, but I could tell you how long it hasn't uh, hasn't uh, consumed blood and uh you can see by how how uh dried out it looks and how emaciated it looks maybe i don't know a thousand years and enli enlightened us how, how does uh, wait, whoa, whoa, a, whoa, whoa. a thousand year old vampire maybe. really mm. sorry selena it just seemed like a really old vampire That's glacier for a thousand years. But, but, but there can't just be one of them. But you know, looking at it and looking at the length of its fangs and mm -hmm. and everything like that, and I wouldn't. I I don't know if this was a full-on vampire. Oh, what makes you say that? Well, its fangs aren't aren't as long. I mean, it has them. The eyes are very, very red, and hmm, it looks more like a like a, a spawn rather than a full-on vampire. Hmm. Okay. And enlighten us. How does how does one become a vampire, or how can we we protect ourselves from this? Oh, uh, are you are you are you asking how to how to protect? Well, they don't they don't like um. Let me see. Hold on. Hmm. Hmm. They don't like running water much. Uh, they can't enter enter a uh, some places uh, some person's uh, 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 property or uh, residence without being uh, invited. A stake in a heart could, uh, um, you know, uh, cause them to be incapacitated. Uh, they they definitely do not like uh um the sunlight um uh what else what else um oh i do know that uh most uh vampires have a very sensitive uh sense of smell so uh the whole idea about them disliking garlic is you know pure uh hogwash and nonsense they just have a really sensitive smell. But perfume, on the other hand, that does really uh, drive them a bit crazy. Crazy in, in, in the sense of bad or as, as it Crazy as in the sense they may not want to be near you. Mm. Um, what else? What else? Hmm. Would incense suffice? Strong incense? 
It depends. Uh, it depends on what the smell is. Incense usually have a bit more of a uh, less gaudy, uh, you know, attracting of the uh, fair, uh, you know. But uh, incense are more about, you know, relaxing and coming together. So depends on what the scent is. Okay. Oh, one thing, uh, one thing I do know is that uh, most vampires, uh, and this is something that is actually a very, I'm very proud of that I know this and it's not very common knowledge. So uh, you, should be, you should be very glad that you have me. Mm -hmm. uh, they really hate uh, when uh, uh, words are spoken in celestial. That am I. Oh, it's almost it's almost as like like a like a uh, hmm. like something triggers them and they have to go after whoever or whatever the source is. Stop it. Okay. Thank you for this scan, and then I put it back in the bag. <laughs> um, as you as you put him, start putting him back in the bag, you do see the body of this uh, uh, cobalt start to twitch. Um, back away from it. I think it's moving. Wait, this thing is gonna run? Twitched. I firebolt it. Right, fire bolt it. Yeah. Um, just double check something. Uh, uh it continues to twitch. Hmm. I thought it first scan. Um, how how do you, how do we uh, take care of this? And I I show him the twitching corpse. Oh oh yes um. Yeah, va va vampires are known to regenerate. So you want to make sure that they, uh, if you do kill them, you do it with uh, radiant damage. Like, quickly before it gets up. Yeah. Or Vitos, yeah, you have radiant too. Yeah. Vitos yeah. walks up to me and uh... right. Sacred Flames it. Right, it uh falls and turns the ash, and disappears. Okay, this thing's in mine. You finish them off with radiant damage. Also, uh, holy water does the same thing too. But of course, we only got one of those left, so we might need those for more skulls. Mm hmm. Continue. You just will move out of the way so Hellebore can get through. Oh no! Is this like it is. It is a horror adventure. I'm all by myself. <laughs> Does this look like more Netherese architecture here? Yeah, you do see Zothu. Can you can you see Zothu? I could a second ago and then I couldn't. So you may want to. Do you want to hold a torch? Yes, I just didn't want to interrupt. I would have been holding a torch this whole time. Okay. Um, I don't know. Did I did I ever give you the little macro to to help you? Like you can always you know turn on and turn off one in the, for yourself. No. So you if you if you that. if you go down to your to your little hot bar at the bottom, there's like a little folder. If you click on it, there should be something called you should be able to search and type in token. Uh, and there should be something that says token vision configuration 0 0.8.8. .8. Has like a little lantern symbol. I don't know if you see that. Yeah, yeah. You want to drag down to some part of your little hot bar and then while you have your token selected, click it, and a little thing should pop up and say, like, oh, 
what's your what do, what do you want to what type of light do you want to put on and you can like put torch and then press okay there you go all right again this room uh yep mm -hmm. uh with uh professor scant still in hand uh selena mm -hmm. uh he says oh uh, that tower uh, appears to be a be, be a Netherese construction. Um, were it not uh, for the cracks and holes, the stones would uh, be smooth as glass, shaped uh, by wizardly magic. Hmm. So it's like is crystal, it still it's like making noise tower. in here, or is it? It's like a, it's like a black stone tower. Okay, but like reflective. Oh, hold on a second. Uh, I probably should have put a glass thing there because it's very tight to get through. But I think clipboard would be able to fit through. All right. Um, Do you want an acrobatics to squeeze through? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you go to that third. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, inside here is very, you know, uh, dark, but you got, you got dark vision, so everything's gray. Oh, I forgot to mention something about this whole this whole uh, area. Um, there's kind of like a mist of, you know, fog going throughout the entire area. So um, the fog kind of, you know, comes you know drops from the ceiling and falls onto the floor and it's kind of like uh you know icy mist all over the place okay that that's it yeah okay guys there's icy mist everywhere should i come back out or try try to see what else is in there but we're Hellebore's out or everywhere? Oh, everywhere. The entire oh, okay, yeah. okay. Oh, so why is it paused? Should I, should I not go? Should I keep yeah, I'm, going? I'm, I, I am paused. Oh, okay. Do you, Selena, should I go deep in? Or? I guess you can make it back. I'm okay. Too much trouble. I'm stealthing. In case anybody was wondering, I'm stealthing. Okay. This side, it, uh, the cracks and holes are very, very tiny. Like, no way I could fit through? Yeah, no way you could fit through. Dang. Okay. Is there anything interesting in this weird round room? Uh, it seems to be a, a, a tower. Uh-oh. Oh. I fell through the wall. Oh, no. Okay, I'll, 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 yeah. I closed my eyes. <laughs> Let me just double check something real quick. A secret pass. Oh, everything's <laughs> set up here. Oh, I see what the problem is. Okay. All right. It might happen again, but just be careful. Okay. Well, Stay on the grid. Was there a secret door? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, that was kind of pointless. Um. Okay. Yeah. But is a is a Netherese tower? I mean, do you think the the, do the Netherese keep secret things like secret compartments? Does yeah. the rock know? You ask. You ask Professor Scant. Uh, he's the expert, right? Well, uh, I mean, he's still out and he can hear you speaking, so mm -hmm. he'll say, well, um, I know the Netherese, uh used to imbue their towers with magic. I'm not sure what's, what's here, um, what this tower specifically did, but that might be something. It might be, do, it might do something magical. But detect magic. Is it like the black metal that we had on the previous tower? Yes. It's not Shardlin, but it is like a black stone metal. Is there any chunks and pieces of it? Because that's what we use to repair the, the the golem in the first place. Um. Yeah. I mean, there's chunks and pieces of it on the floor. You see all these pieces right here. I'll gather up as many pieces as you will allow me to carry. We guys got a bag of holding now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But start shoveling all this metal in there. 
Netherese shield card. Uh, let me say. Do they have those super the... scan? Yes, the Netherese used to uh, um, have shield gardens as you know personal guards and stuff like that. So, were they made of this uh, material? Oh yes, just just similar to the one that you had that you had up there. Mm. Okay. Um, uh, let me just search something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I do have some text for this uh, this tower. Just one second. Here's some text for it. Uh, little remains of this tower besides its outer shell. Uh, the interior walls are decorated with shifting geometric patterns. Uh, a human skeleton in a white robe lies in, on uneven floor. There you go. Does it have a skull? Um, it doesn't say it doesn't have a skull. So. <laughs> We're in business, baby. Clank, boot it up. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Ah, and then as he, as you show, as you, you know, describe the inside, mm -hmm. Professor Scan says, uh, Nethery spellcasters uh, would come to towers like uh, this one to regain uh, spent magic more quickly. Whoa! Despite uh, the extensive damage, it looks like the interior room seems to still function. How ventured against the tower still works. What did, uh, just so you, uh, uh, let me just make sure. Okay, yeah. Um, this might be useful later. Seems our only way forward is to the south. Unless you want to talk to the, the skeleton clan. I don't, I don't know if it'll know much. I don't know how much help it'll be to us at this point. We can keep its head if you want me to keep its head. I've got a collection of them over here. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you got a bag of holding now. So you can throw whatever you want. If we're in a bind, maybe we can ask it, but... Okay. Oh, should I go on ahead? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stealth, stealth, stealth. Do, do, do. Stealth, stealth, stealth. Do, do, do. Hmm. All right, this room. Uh, Got some text for you. All right. Uh, this room has a giant, uh, uh, well, a large tower, the top of a large tower laying down inside in the middle of the room, middle of this uh, cavern. Uh, the top of this uh, shattered uh, tower rests on the side in the middle of this 40, I mean, 30 foot high cavern. Long icicles hang from the ceiling above the top spire. Uh, north of the tower is a 15 foot diameter hole in the floor that seems to be the upper end of a tunnel. Okay, so this is a tunnel right here? Yeah, a hole. Mm hmm. That goes down. Okay. Alright, stealth, stealth, stealth. Stealth, stealth. Stairs leading up. Mm hmm. Inside tower. Alright, you gonna take a look inside? Just real quick. Okay, just taking a quick look. It yeah, is yeah. is full of rubble. Okay. Alright. Um. Stealth, stealth, stealth. Stealth, stealth. Okay, everything Dom said, I just said to you. Oh. Mm. Does this tower look like the other one? This, this right. Yeah, it looks like it might have been the top of it. Oh. And this hole, is this like a sheer hole? 
Uh, looking at the hole, uh, you kind of see that um, it is very sheer. Uh, it's kind of like a glassy, smooth, uh, icy. Like the rest of the wall seem like cracked, ripped up ice, you know, mm -hmm. area. But it's this like hole seems like, yeah, like a slide. And sl <laughs> it's like glassy, smooth, completely smooth. Gosh. And what do you say these stairs were? Or did you describe it? Nothing up there. I'll teleport for a second. Where'd teleport at? Oh, there she is. All right, there you go. <laughs> Target locked. <laughs> yeah. Another passage this way. Maybe we should check it out before venturing down the hole. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how easy it would be to come back once we go down. There. Yeah, how far down right this is hole? Uh, once it goes down, it kind of turns the corner. You lose, you lose sight of where it goes. Yeah, I agree. We should save the hole for later. All right, Zathu's got to hang back because uh, that light is uh, is bright. Okay, that's the room that I went inside. Oh, we got some light up ahead on the right. And got a room with the bar of soap in it. <laughs> All right, this room. <laughs> uh, a flat, giant uh, soap. Found it. <laughs> slightly slanted slab of stone rest in a rest in the center of this. 20 foot high cavern ca cave sorry um one side is rough uh as if if it uh, the slab has been torn off a large structure the slab is eight foot long four feet wide four feet high and covered with frost there you go all right i pull out first scan uh, i'm spinning on my finger like a basketball then i stop i say what do you think of this Oh, please don't do that again, Selene. <laughs> uh, he, sa he, he says, sure, uh, can, you me, can you read me a little bit closer? Um, let's see. I'll turn on some, uh, some light, too, if he needs it. I got fairy fire. Yes, could you do that for me? Oh, that's fairy fire. No, I meant uh, dancing lights. Oh, I had to write it out. Uh, Clank and Zafu can come up to this room. It's... Okay, Would he looks you... at it. Mm -hmm. You want me to go in this room? Right. Oh, look at that guy. Okay, we'll do some... <laughs> we finish up with Selena real quick? <laughs> that looks awesome. I like this guy. <laughs> Can you finish with Selena first, and then okay. we'll go over here. <laughs> Sure, sure. All right. So, uh, Professor Kent looks at the, the thing, and he says, Oh, so there's some script right here written in... Uh, it's written in Draconic, but it doesn't spell out any, word, any Draconic words. Um, but he does... Professor Kent recognizes it I as... Draconic. Yeah, but the letters you recognize, but not their organization. Mm. And then Scant, Professor Scant sees it and says, Oh, this is... Uh, uh, La Rose. That's uh, the Netherese uh, language. Uh, and he says, uh, what this reads here says, take the free self-guided tour of Yithrin. Press the I to cast the spell. Um, looking at the, the script where the slab is, uh, you do see that um, there is a a yeah, eyeball shaped uh, uh, button. Button. Okay. All right. So that's happening over here. Over here, let me just quickly uh, read the text <laughs> over this place. 
lying uh, on its side is in the middle in the middle of this 20 foot high cave is an enormous head made of iron its eyes aglow with a uh, golden light uh, I have art for this actually hello boy Image. show me what you got <laughs> show me Players. Yeah, it kind of has that vibe to it, but the be <laughs> the little goatee is what the re really sells Ooh. it. Wait a minute. That looks awesome. That looks way cooler than the map. Also, uh, th this in is, a this, different way. This picture is is of a halfling staring at his head, so just okay, so you, you have context of the size. I'm gonna get all the parts to build a new shield guardian. <laughs> that is much bigger than a shield guardian's yeah, okay. head. <laughs> we'll make a bobblehead shield guardian. <laughs> Big head mode. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> well, that's it. It's just right. it. <laughs> yeah. What do you do? What are you doing with this uh, thing? Its eyes are glowed. And Prescant said what he said about that uh, slab over there. Mm -hmm. A self-guided tour of what? Yithrin. Yithrin? Is that the name of the city? Yeah. Uh, Spencer Skin says probably. I'm pretty okay, sure that's the name city. of it. But does, yeah, that that's follow, does that follow Netherese naming conventions? Uh, yes. I, if I remember correctly, Yithrin was the first Netherese, Netherese city to fall. Everyone just left her. No one else interested in this boring. <laughs> yeah, I hit the button. All right. As you hit the button, uh, it allows you to cast the Arcane Eye spell. Oh. Oh, a self-guided tour of Yithrin. I see. <laughs> That's awesome. Wait, so I just have an Arcane Eye now, or it's going to let me cast yeah. the spell while I'm you touching have, it? Uh, while, while you're touching the button, you can cast... While you're pressing the button, you can cast the Arcane Eye spell, and it'll last for one hour. For one hour? Whoa. That must have been a really big city, then. They needed this to look around. Is that gonna take my spell slot, or is it just like? No. I feel like it's only got one charge in it. You're not sure. Did I already activate it? You press the button, it lets you. It lets you cast it while you're pressing the button. Oh. Like the moment you press the button, it's like you know yourself that you can cast the arcane ice spell for free without you spending a spell slot. And then that that's happening like the instant you press the button. Whether you do it or not, it's up to you. I feel this is this is kind of like the the one shot with the frostbated thing. So I'm gonna go. I'll I'll go ahead and do it if I because I feel like if I take my hand off, it's gonna run out of juice. I'm gonna do it. All right. So you you uh, cast the arcane eye spell. You now have an arcane eye with you. The invisible arcane. Eye. I'll pull it out real quick. Okay. We've had this. We had this for a while. You know? Yeah, yeah. I got this off of. Um, I just haven't. I haven't cast it myself yet though. Just make sure because it has a specific eye, it has a specific vision. Um, it has. So yeah, it just has it's just uh uh an out little eye that's invisible that you have full control that you have control over. Uh, it takes an action to move it 30, 30 feet. Um and uh do you have a, oh let me let me give you owner ownership yeah, of I it. I can't move it. Yeah. Um yeah. I'll let my allies know I could I could scout on ahead quickly and safely. Actually, let me do something real quick. Let me delete him and make one that it's only only Selena can see out of. Okay. Here. 
vision, and it only has 30 feet of dark vision. How far? Nope, no limit to how far it can go. Last for an hour. Last for an hour. It just can't pass through any uh any objects. But it can slip through cracks. Yeah, small as one inch. Yeah. Okay. I'll let yeah I'll let my allies know. Um, I tell Clank behind me. Um, this could be a very useful tool, but I feel like I have to remain here to to use it. I feel like if I let go of this, it will stop. Okay. Well, I guess I could send messages to for what you see to them. Okay. Excellent. This will be good. Yeah, so I'll start. I'll start going. I mean, uh, I don't know. It's invisible, so they can't see it. Only, yeah. only you can see it. Yeah. Only, I mean, only you know where it is. Yeah. So I'm gonna close my eyes. I'll see through it, and then they like. You don't have to close your eyes to see through it. Oh, well, that's disorientating as heck. Yeah. <laughs> um, and if you let go of the button, and it stops. I'm afraid it will. So I, I'm gonna use it to its potential now. Uh, I'll have it go on ahead. Can we like place a rock on a button like it's it's activated and then we just leave it? Or do you have to? I think I have to. I think I have to touch it. I, I don't know that for sure, but I have I have a feeling. Uh, Professor Kent says, "Really, an hour? We have to stand here for an hour? I don't know if there's any reason to do that." Oh, that's, yes. this is why. <laughs> You can explain what you see, Selena. Yikes, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Hold on. Uh, goodness me. That's quite terrifying. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll talk like behind me. I see many cloaked figures floating in a room. This, uh, I'll this, communicate down the line as well, so. This might be copyright infringement for Harry Potter. I don't know. Many cloaked figures and passage that leads into a dead end. Uh, I'll show you, I'll read out what this room says. Okay. Uh, in this 20 foot high cavern uh, tapered to a dead end, a dozen human uh, skeletons are sheathed in fossil, uh, in frost, uh, lie on the floor, uneven. Uh, all their skulls are missing. So there's a bunch of bunch of humanoids, human skeletons, all covered in frost, lying on the floor unevenly, piled on top of each other, and all their skulls are missing. This, this is this one in here? No, the the dead end room that you went into. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll describe a bunch of cloaked figures. Wow, this is a huge map. Okay. Okay. Or these uh, you see a den a den of, of kobolds hmm what do they seem to be doing it's hanging out uh, fighting at each other hanging out yeah some of them seem to be snapping at each other a little bit every once in a while uh they just seem to be sta standing there yeah. oh, wait I saw something back this hold on before I go down all right so I would say there's about a dozen of the cloaked figures in a big room, and then a little bit past that way towards the east, there's a room full of six more of those gold bolds. And there is... Oh my god, is that a... <laughs> you just see piles of snow. Piles of snow. With arms and legs. Yeah. Just hanging out inside this room. Okay. I wanted to say like an ice mummy, but I don't know if that's what it is. <laughs> Looks like a mean, okay, another dead end. Okay, there's a six more of those. Okay, another dead end. Any more corpses in this room? Uh, no, this room just seems to be empty, covered in ice and snow. Same thing with this one. Okay. Just standing there? Yes. Everything's just motionless. I mean, it's cold, so. Okay. 
Another den of the kobolds. Bones. Looks like Warrens. Right, I'll try and go as fast as possible. Uh, I can't believe they built an RK9 into the dungeon. That's wild. Yeah. yeah. It's with, a pretty big dungeon. Yeah, with how many like enemies there are in this next room, yeah, it makes sense. Be a little. I'd say there's like 20 enemies in our next room. <laughs> and they all look very spooky. Oops. Ooh, this gotta be special. What's this? Uh, this room. I do have text for this one. Hold on. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Uh, there you go. Um. A ten foot high cavern. Dozens of human skulls are are um, on pillars inside this uh what cave. What, what music is playing? I didn't think it. Is it from over here? <laughs> oh, you got it. It's yeah. Good. I guess the track fell went ran over. <laughs> no crash. Uh, oh, <laughs> it's exciting ex exploration. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, dozens of human skulls surround a pillar of ice. Uh, a large cavity uh, look, um, looks like it's been opened in the center. So right here, it looks like a cracked pillar of ice is open, and there's a bunch of, a bunch of pillars of ice with uh, humanoid skulls on it. Wait, so there's skulls on the floor, and then there's this kind no. of... No. Oh. There's skulls uh, on pillars inside that room. Pillars. Oh, so these are yes. pillars? Um, and, and describe this this last. So, one. so these little dots uh -huh. are pillars. This thing in the middle is like a large uh, ice, uh, like like plinth. I, that I would has, call this that, an obelisk or something. Not so much an obelisk. It's more like a like a slab. Okay. That is cracked open. Broken. Yeah. Any like runes and stuff on it? It's just like a no. like a block of ice that was. It was like a block of ice. It's cracked open. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's check that out more closely. Um, empty. Oh, yeah, another empty. Uh, actually, there's something in that room. Oh, okay. Uh, entombed in the icy floor is a 20 foot uh, high in this 20 foot high cavern uh, is the frozen well preserved corpse of a frost giant oh. uh, stretch marks uh, in the I suggest a half hearted attempt to evacuate uh, 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 excavate was it was a, it was a half hearted attempt to excavate the remains Right. So that's what Selene is doing okay, yeah. over here. Um, over here in this room with the with the head. Are you guys doing anything here with that? Um, sure. I will approach. I will boop the head. Uh, it blinks. It blinks. Oh shit! Can you can you speak, Selena? When you get there, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you see a sheet of thin ice mm -hmm. in front of you. Here? Yeah. Oh, okay. But there's another hole. This is another hole. There, there is another hole. Looks similar to the one we saw. Yep. Okay. Then sheet of ice in front of me. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I see. I wouldn't be able to go that way. I see. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'll stop for a second. Hellbar boops the the robot. All right. All right. Okay, you boop the robot. Mm hmm And it blinks. Hold on. I got this for you. Hold on. Wait a second. Hold on. Okay. I'm so immersed right now. Um, can you understand us? Magical uh, head? Uh, let me see. One second, one second. Uh, it blinks twice. 
Oh, is this a twice for yes, once for no? Uh, it blinks yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, do you need a body? Uh, it blinks three times. Three times? What the fuck? Vito's, is three times? Yeah, Vito's holds his, arm, his arms up. What does that mean? He blinks twice. <laughs> Uh, I think maybe it's just random. Could be like a I Morris code. He blinks maybe. once when you say it's random. Oh, okay. Um. Hmm. Are you dangerous? It blinks three times. Nah, three times is maybe. Or heck yes. Hmm. Do you need do you need help? Um hmm. It blinks three times. Hmm. I got nothing. That just says ghost in the next room. Guess our adventure's over. That's just as best as I could describe. Ooh, what are you? Oh, you got a crowd. You're special. Vitos will like. You're the you broke the ice, pull. didn't you? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna pull on like the eyeballs. Uh, they are uh behind like a. Screen, you could probably break them, try and break them out if you wanted to. I'm gonna call Clank over. Hey, what do you need me for? These eyeballs are these like shiny stones that you want? Are they super shiny? Yeah, they blink too. Why do we want to take someone's eyeballs out then? Because well, they might be cool rocks. Is he nice? He doesn't answer us very well. Hi, Mr. Robot. I'm Clank. Uh, hmm. Yeah, he doesn't do anything. Um, do I get any kind of... I mean, uh, I guess I could try to... Identify as I don't know. I'm not too magic. Maybe I mean, we if need you, Selena. If you identify it, you can identifying show uh, does tell you stuff about uh, yeah. okay. objects. I will, I will do identify that. All right. You spend the five minutes. Uh, the yeah, ten minutes identifying. Selena's scouting out things. Like... All right. Yep. All right. Uh, this thing is the head of an iron golem. Oh wow! That's kind of cool. So, uh, um. Uh, hmm, what else? Uh, it does seem to be active and uh, able to answer questions, at least in some way. Like it's responding, it responds to, to it's responding. Uh, I will relay that information. You know, now that I think about it, this is probably one of those one of those situations when frog exploration is actually okay. Oh yeah, I, I, I'm going double you back to make sure I didn't miss any little spots. I do think I want to go down the hole soon though. Right. So ten minutes of doing that, you it takes you know 
you, you've been running around doing all this. Uh, yeah. Anything you guys want to do while you're in here? All right, so this is the sheet I can't pass. Okay. Yeah, I want to go down the hole. All right, step in and press the, the button. Oh, gosh. Oh, cool. Oh, my God. <laughs> Amazing! Incredible. I have art for this, but I kind of want to wait for it. Yeah, you should wait. Down. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> well, I I should say something. Do I get the feeling that this like golem is? I guess you know, I'm repairing my own like the own shield guardian every time like that. Is this like mm -hmm. just buried in the snow or like deactivated? Except for like it's blinking. It is just a head. It's just a head. Yeah, you, you're standing on ice and looking under the ice. There's nothing there. All right. Uh, do I do I know of the eyes being any of worth or value? As I far mean, as from a magical sense or just kind of. Sure. I mean, yeah, the golden the golem eyes would probably be some some use, possibly. But uh, I mean, exactly what you would use them for? Most like most most time, most you would probably use them. Is to make help make another iron golem. Gotcha. Um, can, when I see these creatures, can I make an arcana check? Uh, this would be more of a or nature, nature a or thing. yeah. Uh, it's an empty room here. Yep, empty room. Okay. Uh, you do see lots of bones. Are these giant bones? Yes. Hell yeah. See lots of bones, and you do see uh giant uh snowball looking uh boulders boulders any significance are they carved in anything or no they're not carved they're actually pretty smooth uh you do see that in these pools they're also some of these snowball looking boulders okay they're just like chunks of ice that fell down um maybe oh wait a minute i think i know what it is uh is this, does this hole go down or up down oh my goodness Okay. Uh, you do see that there is also another sheet of ice a little bit further down that hole. It's very thin. Though. Down, down this way. It's more like 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 whatever made these holes kind of melted some of the ice, and then it, when it cooled down, it just left like a film. Okay. There. So they haven't gone down that hole in a, in a bit. Okay. I am excited. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, okay. as you come in here, uh, let, me, let me get a little bit closer. Yeah. You do see another, uh, another structure, <sighs> and you do see some uh, drow standing what? there. Uh, they seem to be uh, speaking, but you don't have any audible, audible information well, coming I think in from you here. You can switch, or can I? Can you? Or is that something else? Oh, I think no, it's clairvoyance. Visual. Where you can yeah, switch between. Um, okay. And other ends, what kind of, stru is this another nether, just like tower structure? Yeah, touch structure, yep. Okay, they're just talking. Yeah, they seem to be talking. Do I recognize I, any of them? Yes, you do recognize their house. They seem to be uh, your house, uh, Selena. What? <laughs> okay. Yep. This guy looks... Uh, you recognize them as being someone from, uh, uh, let me see. Someone who followed your older sister. Kind of hard to see, but she does have a scarred face. No, no, he does, uh, he does have a bit of a scarred face, yes. Okay. I'll have to check my notes again real quick, but okay. Okay. Uh... Yikes. Okay. Um, and 
that just kind of caps off. Okay. This room. Dead end. Empty. Dead, dead end. Dead end. Another thin sheet of ice. Oh, here? Yep. This way? Well, if you keep going, it should block you. Like, there's... Oh, I see. Yeah. A little peek. All right. Gosh. <laughs> yeah. Zoom out more so I can... Are you trying to head back? Uh, not... Because I know there's another way this way, and then I will probably head back after I check out these. Uh, down these to another hole that leads super far down. This one, Farther this one goes see. down. Yeah. Okay. So far down that you might think that it's not part of this adventure. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see. Got it. There you go. Ooh. Okay. And this other one, does this go back up and meet up with that other hole? Oh, you just find out by going through. Yeah. 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 I mean, as you, as you go through. Uh... Oh, yep. Okay. I feel like I got most of it. Um, when I looked at those creatures, they seem to be just, just chilling out. Um, they kind of just like, uh, they were cir circling around in their pools. Were they, were they very active or? Yes. Okay. Not sleeping. Not sleeping. That's good. Oh yeah. This empty. one is empty and I think this one is also be empty. Yeah. This is a. That is a little box if I've ever seen. <laughs> I think I got every. What do you think, Tom? I think I got most everything, right? I think you're good. That could be. That could be explored. I, I, that wasn't covered with film. Yep. yep, you're good. Okay. I can. I can rush you back up if you want me to. Okay. Uh, we didn't. Uh, there was one thing that uh, you might have been looking at the other group. Um, we'll just go back up. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do that. There you go. Thank you. Uh, there was one guy I saw. I don't know. If maybe. Uh, oh, over here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It just guy. seems to be seems to be a shadowy cloaked uh, figure with a crown hanging, hanging out. out, floating in, in this room. He covered in ice. Uh, you do. Uh, he is uh, not covered in ice. Okay. Uh, you do see that there are also thin, other thicker sheets of ice that are here. In here. You can see through. I see. But there's, you can tell they're thicker sheets of ice. Okay. And that big ice thing I saw before looked like it was broken open. Yes. Yes. Okay. That, that seems to line up with my brain. Okay. Uh, but this is step one here. Yeah, I'll um, I'll release my hand from the stone. Do I? Does it, does it fade immediately? No. Oh, okay. Then I will just uh, park this eye here. I put the parking brake on. I come back. I mean, you never, you never remember yeah. that you have both, both vision at the same time. Okay. Then I'll come back to my allies and explain. Uh, these caverns are quite expensive. I feel like I have a mental note of most of them. In this next room, there are multiple. Uh, were they, were they floating? Yes. Okay. Floating at what looks like apparitions. Uh, uh, yeah. Once you round that corner, just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there were some large, there was lar some larger creatures down below that seemed to be uh, bathing themselves. Uh, more of the kobolds uh, to the west, in the western. Yeah, there's sorry, the eastern caverns. We have quite a few fights ahead of us if you want to continue exploring. Oh. <laughs> Ghost like hostile. I'm, I'm oh. gonna I'm gonna say yes. The last <laughs> yes. one aged uh, Valor here by a lot. I don't know if they were that 
focus. They seem to be... Hmm. They, they don't they don't seem to have that much personality I'll say. Do you wanna do anything with this golem? Oh, this is quite fascinating. Hello there. No reaction to to it. Hello. Okay. Professor Scan. What's this head? Uh that looks like the head of a uh, iron golem. I believe uh, Netheries used them in their fight against the Faerim. The Faerim? Faerim. So I think as a wizard, I might know a little bit about that. You had a book. You had a book about it. Oh yeah, little we'll fight. Those yeah. are some dangerous things. Don't they eat magic? That's what uh, broke they, magic. They 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 try to end existence. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty bad stuff. Yeah, they're those ice cream monsters. <laughs> that look like a, a tube with the teeth. Yep. <laughs> okay. Wait, there's ice cream around here? No. <laughs> I mean, there's lots of there's lots of ice cream around here. You, you seem you to know. be snowmen. Snow. They could be made of ice. Alright, so how do we want to handle the ghosts? Uh, I believe they will swarm us. There are many in the next room. Do we want to set a trap and lure them back here? Well, we got... Well, don't ghosts just go through walls, Clank? I mean, feels like we'd want to be have a bigger room so we could see them coming, yeah? Oh, yeah, that's smart. Can't you just use your... Uh, whatever you did earlier to the skulls, just to the whole room of ghosts? I could try. I mean, the ghost and only one really listened to me. I'm not that intimidating, Elevar. I think you are. All right, I could try it. I could run in there and try it. All right, let's. We'll be right. We'll be right there with you, though. So if it, if you don't scare them all, then we'll take care of the ones you don't scare. Okay, they, they might hear me coming, but I'll try. I have to move my eye, Dom. I'm gonna put it here and keep an eye on this guy. Uh, as okay. we explore the next room. <laughs> right. Oh boy. Alright, uh, I guess I would like to dash around the corner. Alright, let's do it. And then I will. Holy shit, that's a lot of ghosts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit, shit, Take shit, shit. Um, I guess I'll dash. Oh, wait, this boss. Uh, Never mind. Yeah. All right, so as you yeah. get to here. Oh, no, Hellebore was the one who got first. Okay, yeah, so go ahead. Plank. You have your full movement. Okay, I'm going to run here. All right. <laughs> um, That's our main character. Let me, let me move. Uh, let me move closer to the other thing right behind Lose my golden pimple. So where is these, where's this laughing coming from? It just echoes throughout the whole thing. <laughs> I think, honest to God, there's no laughing. Like, I have no, no idea what you guys are talking about. Yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> we'll go maybe, ahead maybe and start the streets. I'm not, I'm not crazy. Look, I'm going to show you my controls in chat. <laughs> there's nothing. Do, do you have Chrome turned up? You don't have like a thing that says global volume control or something like that. Dom, what kind of crazy question is that? <laughs> did I mute my Chrome tab? <laughs> of course I did. Oh, they're shadows. <laughs> Wait, would, I, would I recognize shadows different from ghosts? Um, you only had dark vision. Yeah. I guess, yeah. I mean, they could be shadows or ghosts. They could be shadowy ghosts. Yeah. If they're so. shadows, we're fucked. <laughs> Uh, more importantly, Clank's just fucked, not you. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see. Oh, there's some Halloween shit going on here. Okay, wow. <laughs> Did we surprise him at all or no? <laughs> uh, you Clank running in? No. Okay. Yeesh. Well, 
Well, this is gonna suck. Oh boy. Good luck, guys. Alrighty. Uh, Clank, Clank would like to use his one inspiration point to steal the initiative. Oh, good, good, shit. Good. Wait, 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 wait. You have to oh. be... Oh, no, yeah, you're surrounded by him. I was like, you gotta be surrounded by him. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm surrounded. Okay. Right. If you're gonna do that, we'll just begin combat and Clank, you're on it. Alright. I'm gonna be like, oh, please, God, let this work. And I'm gonna... Do my turn on it. You can move first. Give yourself an order. Yeah, you move. Oh, sorry. Let me unpause. Sorry. Go for I'm it. I'm within 30 for everything. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. Unless there's more in. Is there more down here? It's just one big room full of those ones. That's all I saw. I think that's all of them. Yeah. So, uh, turn on it. Hopefully it works. And what's the challenge rating for destroying again? One? Uh, one. All right. Uh, and it's wisdom, right? 16 wisdom. Yeah. All right, let's see what happens, Clank. This could, Clank. Be, this could be epic. Clank. All right, uh, check. Uh, no, save wisdom. That's a lot of rolls. Oh, I saw one in there. Okay, so 16, right? Yes. All right, fretted, fretted. Uh, where's fretted? Fretted. Fretted, uh, no. Fluttering, sorry. Fluttering, uh, dissolves, and disappears. Uh, studious, also dissolves and disappears. Um, amiable, uh, passes. Nasty, oh man. Uh, where's he at? Nasty, fades away as well. Um, confident, uh, succeeds. He, yeah, he was confident, that's why. Uh, sinister, oh no, good thing that one failed. Uh, sinister, deleted. All right. Uh, oh, I got something for this too. When this happens, okay. this is finished. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got something for this too. Yeah, uh, lucky, uh, lucky failed. Uh, Uh, Rastic survived. House failed. Uh, oh man, Unfavorable got a boon. You may switch places. Switch places with oh, a nearby he, he, he switched places to Profitable. <laughs> like the room in front of himself. Because <laughs> he got All a right. one. I mean, he got a one. Oh, let me see what the complication is. Hold on for that one. Oh no. Arch oh my good. Hmm. <laughs> <gasps> hmm. Hmm. Damn discretion. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll keep this. I'm. Okay. I got this. All right. Let me just roll something real quick. I don't know if there's a copy he's got anyway. Okay. Okay. So I'll keep that in mind. All right. Um. Let me see. What was the next one? Uh. Profitable. Died. Deleted. And last one's likable. Oh man, likable. Gone. And hold on, I need to, I need to throw some out real quick. Where is that? Uh, oh, yeah, magic clank clank's just going like oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Please make it work. And uh, we'll hold up his uh, little rock, and it'll kind of burst a light, and all these shadows will disappear. Nope. Frank runs in there, does his thing, and like most of the room is just gone. There's only like four shadows left. I'll kind of like open my eyes and like keep my eyes open, and uh, like see the one floating right in front of me. Can, can I see what maybe this like a uh, knowledge check? Um. Sure, is your bonus action religion? Go for it. And poor Clank, man. I mean, I was intelligent, so it's, I'm, yeah. not, I'm, I'm trying. You're not, you're not sure. <laughs> uh, I think I've got most of them, Hellebore. Um, I will pass to, I guess, Hellebore right there. All right, Hellebore. All right. Uh, let's see. 
shadows uh, strong in dark. So, hmm. All right, I'm gonna run into the room. Uh, as I'm moving into the room, I'm going to fast hands. Um, a torch, and then just drop it on the ground. Is that is that cool? Okay. Drop it on the floor. Okay. Horrifying torch. <laughs> and then, yeah, it is horrifying. And then I'm gonna take a shot with my bow uh, at this guy. Okay. Uh, all right. Here we go. Fuck. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh... I guess that'll be a complication. What? Wow. This is a pretty mad. It's pretty thematic for the dungeon, though. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll keep that in mind. All right. Okay. That's my turn. Since I missed, I guess I'll pass back to our team. I'll pass to Zathu. All right, Zathu. Next, next time I'm going to ask where you guys are all want to be before you activate. <laughs> yeah, so we set up. Yeah, because Zathu's always... I always, feel like Zoth, yeah, I always feel like Zathu's all the way in the back. And that's my turn. I'm going to pass to Vitos. Aww. Alright. <laughs> Vitos will run in here. Take a look around and be like, this isn't very many ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's going to Eldritch Blast this guy over here. Okay. Alright, 12 and 7. Uh, both of those hit. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it takes them out. Fades away. Right. And I will pass to Selena. All right, Selena. All right. I, I look. <laughs> Does it take an action to switch between? Oh no, I don't. I don't have to. It takes an action to move it. To move it. All right. So what's what's that guy doing down there? He's just hanging out. Yeah. Right now he's just hanging out. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll shoot this, uh, I'll firebolt this one next time. Alright. Uh, 13. Yep, that hits. It is, a uh, fraying or, uh, evaporating. <laughs> Alright, that'll be my turn. All right, uh, it was it, it will definitely steal. It's confident Shadow's turn. Uh, he's not frightened either, because if he was frightened, he would be dead. Uh, but he does see this uh, uh, delicious cobalt right next to him. Seems to have a lot of uh, strength, so he's going to try and strength train him. Does thirteen hit? No, fifteen no. hit? Nope. I'm pretty sure it didn't. All right, uh, it's going to pass to uh, Ambule, Aimable, Shadow, who's going to, hmm, just like that, doesn't really like that light there. Probably going to fly over to here, behind you, and try and strength train you. Oh. 19, I'm pretty sure misses. <laughs> All right, passes to uh, uh, Moralistic. Uh, this is back up to 23. All right. Up to you. Another one. Misses, Ooh. all right. 
And it'll pass to uh, Quan, I guess, because he's the only person who has Quan and Velen, the only person who has Velen. Quan is going to run up as far as he can and uh, carrying Velen with him. And then dash. So far as you can get. Uh, Velen's going to go and pass to uh, Clank next round. Oh, no. Clank, uh, go ahead. Clank's going to open his eyes fully and see that he's surrounded by shadows. And like, it didn't work, Alibor! And I'm going to swing my mace wildly with a uh, boom blade. I'll go for this one. Are you kidding me, Clank? It worked really good. You, you got rid of almost all of them. My eyes were closed the whole time. Oh, no, no. They were like... 500. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. remarkable. Mm hmm. Which, which one you hit, Clank? That one? All right. Um, 17, 4, 9, and 2. Let's double check something. Okay, yeah. Uh, so they take uh, 4 and 2 and are blooming. They are resistant to non magical uh, physical damage. Got it. Um, I will. Uh, and they're booming. Stop it. Right, Zafi. I'm swinging at the one that Clank just swung at. All right. Today's right, not my lucky day. Okay, I'm glad it's not another, uh, what'd you call it? Equivalent score 19. Okay. Yep. It's still pretty, pretty fucking yep. crazy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so extreme does that favor. mean a one hit? Yeah, so. Uh, I, I mean, it says, I mean, it's up to Dom, I guess, but. Well, yeah. triggered I mean, I, I, I would, I would say it would, it would be the next, be after it because. Mm. Um, they, this can happen in the other way around too. Like if an enemy gets a one, and then now that it turns into a hit, that doesn't seem you know. So okay. I, I'm gonna say that it, it triggers it. Okay. Uh, combat. Okay. So yep. 19s and ones don't. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, so that misses, and the next one is a uh, 11 for. And this is magical. So yeah. All right. So as you. Uh, uh, hit it, it evaporates and then also explodes into a gory mess. Oh, shit. What? Nice. Oh. Uh, do, do shadows normally do that? Anybody? No, they don't. And... Was there a person in there? Are there sharks? Did I don't you know see any sharks? Hunting. No, I didn't see any sharks. Well, it's a lot of blood. Go. Sharks. Oh, I see what you're saying. There you go. Uh, no, but the, the vampires, the vampire kobolds might, um, hmm. they might smell that. <laughs> uh, I, that's my turn, and I'm gonna right. pass to Hellebore. All right, uh, Hellebore. All right, since, uh, since I apparently have to aim to land any attacks, I am going to use the bonus action to aim, and I'm going to shoot this uh, injured one right there. Okay. 19, that's a critical hit. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, well, here, there's a button we can push now to make it critical, right? Yeah. Boop. Okay, and then here's two of these. Oh my god. Oh wow. All right. The it two extremes of sneak attacking. It had one it had one HP, so you killed it. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Thanks. That makes me feel really good about that. So. Does it also explode? The bloody mess? No. Okay. It ju it just that breaks. Okay. Oh. That's a weird flex. Okay. Um then I will pass to Quan the Monolith. Get in here, Quan. All, all I'll say is that, you know, there's been a lot of, uh, um, you know, things happening with these uh, dice yeah. rolls, you know? All right, uh, Quan runs in. 
Uh, he can see it from right here. Sap your strength. All right, and then he'll take out his crossbow. He's like, I'm uh, too strong for that. <laughs> and uh, takes two shots with his crossbow. That's a 19. Oh, comes on the second one. <laughs> All right, well, you did crit the first one, so uh, nine. All right, 14 and eight. Oh, wait, not 14. Uh, seven and four. Oh, wow, that's just enough. He's out. All right, two rounds. Yeah, you guys did good. That, uh, that, uh, turn undead. Wonders. All right, end of combat. Well, I only get two of them, so it's all good. Right, there are more kobolds to the east. They're eating, they're gnawing on bones to the south. It looks to be that these these creatures king got a crown. Much mm. like them. Feel like we should kill the shitty stuff first. <laughs> right. <laughs> the king. <laughs> Dude, we don't want the shitty stuff rolling up when we're fighting the big stuff, right? Yeah, because they're gonna. Well, yeah, they're gonna. Because what if the play. big guys like? What the big guys are like? Come to me, my minions, and then they all just like he just pulls the whole fucking dungeon down. Wait, should you press the detonation on his blood around? Uh, sure yeah, can I do that? Uh, I just, I, I just disappeared, Selena. You didn't check this area. What? Nothing. I'm just kidding. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there's, there's, there's lots of these little corners. Uh, don't round that corner though, because he, he's right around that corner. Um, well then, don't you think you would have heard us fighting and talking and all that? Let me see what he's doing. What is he doing? Oh, he's just sitting there? He's floating there. I put my um, eye right on top of him, so... You can see that his, his mouth is moving. He's kind of talking to himself. Could be casting a spell, huh? Is he making hand motions, like spell casting? No. Okay. Well, I mean, there's some hand mo motions, but you don't recognize any of it as, as spell casting. Okay, it's not somatic. Okay. At least not any spells you would know. Okay. Well, yeah, the kobolds are in the, the room past there. I marked it. Uh, up to the north is a dead end. Up to the north, this way, as what looks like snow mummies. Should, should we let Zathu run into this room head first? Oh, okay. Either this room or past the cold bolts at up for the, the snow. Mean looking snowman. Hmm. Should we avoid some of it? Actually, I could just I could just I ain't check them. Wait, let me just. That's us. Oh boy, let's go here. Oh, okay, this is an empty room. Uh, Zel uh, uh, Selena, as you s see in his room, you do see all the kobolds are, like, lifting their heads up in the air and sniffing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's charge them. Let's charge them yeah. kobolds. Yeah, right into that room. It's kind of... All right, Zatu, lead the charge so that you actually get to do something to fight this time. Mummies are up uh, to, here, yeah. To the... To okay. the wait, where am I going? <laughs> you, know, you better charge the right way. This way, where it says kobold east. Okay, yeah, I just want to make sure. <laughs> yeah, you can see him now. All right, yeah. Dang it. Uh, my eye back. <laughs> okay. Um, um, so, uh, uh, Zathu ran up there. Where would you have guys been when Zathu would have ran up to here? Just behind her. All right. Okay, I think so I, where we are now is good. Go ahead. Zathu, don't, don't move. Everybody, where would you have been when Zathu moved up to there? I'm fine here. Yeah, I'm fine. I don't give a shit. Yep. All right. I want to move my eye back down to check out that dude, but that's okay. Right. Okay, let's get this uh, ready. Uh, let me get this eye out of here. Uh, get this in.
Oh, oh, gotta hit that button. Boop. Aw, oh, hella book, come on. Alrighty, let's see, let's see. Who won? Uh, Clank got 20. Uh, Cobalt got 24. Alright, so Cobalt won. Well, not your Cobalt, the other Cobalt. Man, I also, I need to get this camera out of here. Alright. Alright, begin combat. Uh, unexpected. It's the one that, that's. Lock guys was Zothu is the one that that uh, won. Uh, it's gonna go. Zothu, as it sees you and it sees that you're injured, that you have some type some damage on you. Uh, it kind of sniffs the air, and uh, it bears its fangs. And let me hope this updated. There it goes. They're so cute. <laughs> Runs up towards you. Uh, and goes for a bite. Uh, does 14 misses, the 26 hit. Legit terrifying. Lowers max HP! Good that Zathu went in first. Oh no. Yeah. Well, she's uh, got the most hit points. <laughs> as it runs towards you, it does howl out. A uh, blood curdling uh, uh, dragon roar. <laughs> a dragon roar? Oh man. Or what, it, or what it believes it would be a dragon. Roar! <laughs> <Back to that. laughs> <That's laughs> <not> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, it's going to pass unless you want to steal. I do want to steal. I want to whack I just this, like hissing, clicking thing. sounds. <laughs> Keep in mind, uh, actually yeah, I do have, actually I had sound effects for this. I forgot I had this prepared. Hold on one second. Like predator noises? Uh, does this work? Hold on. Uh, it is here. So let me heal. Yeah. Did I play? Did you guys hear that? I don't know. Might have happened really fast. Play it again. I'll turn it down. I hear nothing. Oh. No, I didn't hear nothing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well. Don't worry about it. All right. This is off. You still in? Yes. Fifteen for seven and twenty-three for seven. Uh, let me check. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, both of those hit, and the first one uh, knocks it down. Oh! Remember, we his need body to finish him off with life. All right. Anything else from Zafu? You still have your second attack on uh, your movement. I don't think. I can't. I can't reach him. So that's it. That's all I'm doing. And I'm going to pass to a Vitos. All right. Okay. Uh, was this little thing down here red? Uh, another way in. Uh, 
it loops around for a little bit. That's the quickest way towards them. Either that or that was the dead end. I, I don't remember at the moment. Oof. That's a risky, uh, risky move. I'll check it out on my turn. <laughs> uh, I'm going to dash the rest of the way out. Okay. And I'm going to pass to Hellebore. All right, Hellebore. Okay, I said I'd I said I'd check this out, so I will. So uh, go here. That's two, three, four, five. Hey, Slee, there's no kobolds down here. I said it wrapped around for a way. How the fucking far do I right. have to go? Like three more rooms. Uh, uh, three more you, rooms. As you step big. inside there, uh oh, I need, you, I need you to give me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, what a wisdom shit. saving throw! Yay. Selena, you did me dirty, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I could only see things. I couldn't hear anything. It's probably... Okay. You're good. Uh, Am I good? If I'm not good with a 20, I think I'm logging off for the night. You're so, you feel like a very hard pain in your head. Uh-huh. And then it subsides. Okay, well, we'll leave it this room. So and then it uh, explodes. <laughs> five, six. Great. Great. Good. Good turn. And then we're going to go one... To put an X that way. Do we use Euclidean movement? Yes. Okay, so never mind. That's uh three, four, five. It should I should calculate it automatically for you. Oh, it, oh yeah, I see it's doing it. Okay. Eh. Oh god, there's finally some bad guys. All right. Um, so that was my move. That was my bonus action dash. I'm gonna hold an action to shoot something when it is adjacent to an ally. Okay. Okay, that's my turn. I Can will pass you? to Clank. Hey, Clank. So you said don't go down that room. Okay. Um, I will follow Vito's. Uh, and then I'll dash. Uh, uh. Uh, can't get past Vito, so I guess I will... Does it look like any of them are turning tail and running? Uh, no. Actually, hold on, let me just get this set up right. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, seeing that they are uh, hungry and uh, they, they turned to ash last time we, we did any kind of uh, uh, radiant damage, I'm going to sacred fight in this one. Right. Wait, did you just dash? Oh yeah, I dashed. Never mind. I'm not gonna do that. Ignore that. Uh, I will pass to uh, Selena. Then. All right, Selena. Okay. Um, I'm gonna kind of listen down this way. Hear anything coming from this way? I'll do a perception check to search. Okay, go ahead. Give me a perception check. Hear anything coming from that way? Uh, who? Uh, I mean, we are in combat. Uh, complication getting better. A combatant who has been oh man, too bad. What is the uh, oh, yeah, it was special prone, uh, but percent uh. Normal HP total. Wow, that's even that would be really good. Uh, if you if, time, all right, so I guess nothing happens. No, oh, yeah, yeah, you can't hear anything. The sound of all the hissing from them and anything like that, and you know, right? Red's people... pointing out that you have a dead unit that you could <laughs> pop back up with 50% health. That'd be really oh, does scary. It... The kobold, does it say? It's just combatant. Oh, yeah, it's combatant. Oh, yeah, that's true. 50%. Okay, that's true. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. That is right. All right. He pops back up 50% of its maximum HP. Okay, that's what I'm going to firebolt. <laughs> with my... Oh, no, I did a search action. Never mind. Uh, but uh, say, oh, it's back up. And then I'm going to be like, oh, whoops, forgot Over the sacred flame. Fish... <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just, I guess I'll prepare myself for to attack me next turn. Yeah. And then I'll pass to. 
Itos, are you gone already? Yeah, I won already. Okay. I'll pass to Quan. Alright, Quan grabs Velen. Runs up. Well, actually, no, no. He won't grab Velen. He's just gonna, from here, take a shot at that Cobalt that just to back up. Eleven. It gets up, opens his mouth, a cobalt, a uh, uh, crossbolt bolt goes right into his mouth, falls back down. Okay. And he says, haha, got it. And then uh, moves up uh, to right here. He's such a chad. And passes the villain. Villain uh, runs and dashes. Get 30 feet. I'll go to. I'll, t- I'll, I'll, I'll turn to her. You don't have any radiant damage, do you? Oh, <laughs> she, uh, she like snorts a, a laugh for a second there. Yeah, we both laugh. <laughs> All right. Uh, she'll pass to. Uh, I guess the person left is yeah, one of the, one of the uh, vampires. All right. Unauthorized. Wait, hold on. Which one's this one? Craggy. Pass to Craggy. Craggy runs up. There's more. There's more people with. with Wounds in front of them. Oh, they run up. Oh, I forgot to forgot they had this. It's right. it's gonna get shot by Hellebore. Oh yeah, it runs up to you. So yeah, Hellebore, you can go take a shot. I'm taking my shot. Here we go. Uh, twenty-five for six. Yeah, that hits. Sneak attack. God damn! It falls down. Oh, sweet. Yes. Mm-hmm. Fucking Van Helsing up in here. Yeah, they all were very dried up, right? Yeah, they were very dried up. Okay. Um, he'll pass to unauthorized. Unauthorized. Uh, he's gonna go. He's gonna run up to here, to Zafu, and take two bites. I'm pretty sure those are miss. Yep. Yep. All right. It's gonna pass to uh, undistinguished. Undistinguished is gonna run up to right here. And yeah, they're not they're too crazy to, to worry about flanking. And he's going to also take two bites, but this time at event because you know they're cobalts. Mm-hmm. They have pack tactics. Oh wow, they even have oh man, I'm missing I'm missing I'm not using these guys to their fullest. As he runs up to you. Uh let me just read this real quick. Okay, yeah. Uh, as he runs up to you, these two over here, uh, mistrustful and intent and international, uh, both use their reactions to yes, pincer movement and run up towards uh, Yuzafu. I give this to all my bug enemies in paradise. <laughs> and okay, so now this uh, undistinguished, undistinguished, on his turn is using, is taking two bites attack at advantage. 18, uh, no, 21 and 23. Ouch. Both of those hit? Yeah. Okay, keep in mind that every the four necrotic damage and the six necrotic damage lower your maximum HP by that much. All right. Uh, he's going to pass to Mistrustful. Oh, boy. Uh, Mistrustful is going to go ahead and do another two bites on Zafu. Uh, twenty-four and nine. Nine, pretty sure misses. Twenty-four hits. Yep. All right. Lastly, International. Uh, he sees they're getting swarmed by him. He wants something to meet by himself, so he sees this. Uh, large uh, creature here, who's also still hurt, and is going to take two bites out of you, Vitos. Oh boy, there's a crit. Oh my god. That's, uh, yeah, I'm at three notches now. <laughs> we, only do, we only do one notch. Oh, Whether really? It's notched or not. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's just how many crits I've been had. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the 27 hits. 27, so that's a critical hit. Oh, uh, and then they get pack tactics, right? So uh, he, there's no one, there's no one near you. Okay. So the only, only the 13 hits. 
The 13 doesn't hit. Just a crit. So that's uh, seven normal damage and then nine necrotic damage plus your maximum HP is reduced by nine. All right, uh, that's the end of their their turns. Uh, Vitos, you can steal if you want. Yes, Vitos will steal. All right. Uh, at the beginning of the new round, um, did you see that the ones that are dead uh, who didn't die by radiant damage are starting to twitch and will probably get up if they get past two. Okay, so is there one on the ground in front of me and one yep, that's yep. really in front of me? Yep. Okay. Give me one second to check something here. Okay. All right, I'm just going to Sacred Flame the guy in front of me. All right. All right. Uh... I won. Can't really move anywhere either. Okay. Um. Yep, I'm going to pass to Clank. All right, Clank. Uh, I can still look around at the twitching ones. I get a little worried because I don't know what to do about them. Um, hmm. I guess I'll start sacred flaming the ones that are down on the ground, right? Can I see? I can see this one. And is there one there, too? Yeah, there's one here on the floor. And there's one up here. That's on the floor. All right, I'll, I'll burn this one. All right. All right, so action, sacred flame, it dissolves. Let me move him out of the way. Um, and then uh, bonus action. I don't like where Zapu's at. I guess bonus action, I will spiritual weapon. Which one you're hitting? Uh, which hit. are, is there, a, there was a wounded one, right? And it was this one or this one? Uh, none of them are wounded. None of them are wounded. Uh, we'll just go for this one right in the choke point. Right here? All right. Uh, you got pack tactics because it's a melee spell attack and he's next to an ally. So 16 hits for 12. He just crushes Skull in with uh, force damage. He starts switching on the floor. I'm over. We gotta burn their bodies. And I will pass to Zathu. All right, Zathu. All right, I'm starting with that guy. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, twenty for eleven. Yep, he's down. Okay. And then I'm going to go over this guy. All right. Also down. Okay, cool. Uh, Pasta Hullabore. All right, Hullabore. You do hear more howling coming from for a, a little bit further in the cave. Also, a, a cackling laugh has been in this cave since you guys have been here. Okay. So, are these creatures making the sound effect that keeps going off? Uh, you haven't heard it from them. Weird. Okay. Um, this one right here is adjacent to an ally already. Yep. Uh, is there any penalty to shoot at it from where I currently am? Uh, let me see. He's going to two people. He's a he's a small. Mm, I'll give I'll give him uh, uh, what you call it a uh, half cover. Yeah. 
So what, like plus two to its AC? Yeah, plus two. All right, I'll just take an aim and fire. Uh, so 24. 24? Yep, that hits. Uh, oh, 30 damage. Alright. You pretty much, uh, rip off the bottom of his, uh... His, nice. Uh... Yeah, like, she, uh, she does this thing where she basically, like, drops it to almost like, uh, like the splits, maybe? No, no, no. Just like, um, like a Black Widow crouch. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. With, like, the hand down, you know? And then, but not because you need the bow. And then she's gonna fire, uh, to the side of Clank's head and right below Vitos's uh, family jewels. And then it's gonna just hit the kobold, like, right in the throat. <laughs> And that's my turn, and I'll pass to uh, Vitos. Uh, Vitos. Who just got a close shave. I think Vitos went. He went first, so. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, are there he, was, any... he wasn't checked off. Okay. Are there any active yep. kobolds left? Uh, not in this room, no. But there are some that, I guess, heard the fighting. Yeah, you do hear them kind of coming from... All, all right. Quan. Plus, they're going to wake up next round. Yeah, pass to Quan. Quan. All right. Quan uh, says, uh, what should I do? There hasn't been, I don't see it. He's going to just uh, stand over here and like ready a crossbow at this one mm -hmm. for what, if it wakes up. Alrighty. And he'll pass to uh, you, Selena. Okay. Um, you're down this hallway. Room into multiple rooms. Uh, I just want to fire a fireball. Just... Where? Just uh, maybe the, the square over here. The okay. small. Mhm. Mm I'm just like, just wand out around the corner, just right through, right down the hallway. Alrighty. See if anything happens. Uh, it lights up. And then, uh, as the light kind of passes through, you kind of hear a, uh, a, uh, you hear a, a someone yell out, uh, someone? Yeah, someone yell out, uh, uh, curses be who there, uh, who gaze upon the horror. Was that like, is, was it like in a spooky voice though? Yes, yes, okay. yes, it was in a spooky voice. Did it sound like it was coming from the next room or much farther in? A little bit further in. Okay. Uh, that'll be my turn. I'll just firebolt down that right. way and then I'll right. back up a little bit and say there's something down there to Bella. And I'll tell her to be careful. I'll have my raven dodge. So that'll be it. I'll pass mm -hmm. to her. All right. Bella uh, gets up here and gets ready to... Uh, uh, She's gonna ready a magic, uh, magic missile for any uh, kobolds that wake up. Oh, Don, what was that? What did it say one more time? The wary those to gaze upon it. You no, know, it says uh, curse be those who gaze upon the horror. Horror. Sounds like wrestling jargon. No. <laughs> I guess I'll pass Yeah, but wrestling's pretty cool, though. <laughs> I am the whore. <laughs> you really gotta enunciate that word. Alright, uh, Velen, uh, next round. As the next round starts, you do start to hear, uh, see, uh, kobolds coming, hear kobolds running through the, the, uh, um, area coming towards this area so let me just put them in now all right also uh and yeah, i'll be it yeah um you do hear the cackling getting a little bit louder all right next round uh velen passes it to um, well, you guys are trying to take them out, so we'll pass it to Vitos. As Velen passes, she says, weren't those those crazy uh, wands that you had? 
what we needed? What? Uh, what? Didn't they do radiant damage? Who did radiant damage? Oh, I don't damage? know. Oh, you mean our cool space lasers? Oh, shit. And then Vito's will uh, sacred flame this one right here. On the floor. Yep. All right. Sacred flame. It's gone. And a whole other rifle. And then I will pass to Clank. All right, Clank. Uh, yeah, Clank's just at, uh, how many are, are looking like they're getting back up? All of them are looking like they're going to get back up this round. All right. Uh, I'll go ahead and get one of these. All right. Just pick which one you want to get rid of. And you'll probably get rid of it. They can't, they can't dodge while they're... Hey, Clank, do you think burning the bodies will work too? I don't know. We, we tried fire earlier, and it didn't turn them to ash. I don't know if it would like set them on fire. They might not get back up or die as soon as they do. M muffled in uh, Selena's, Selena's ba uh, bag, you hear. Uh, no, fire does not work. Dumb. All right, I will... Do we, do we know where the cobalt sounds are coming from? Can we hear? Yeah, this one. Uh, this one. Okay, I'm going to bonus action, I guess, move this here. All right. And then I'll sacred flame this one. All right. Gone. Right here. I'll be right here. How you, got, how you guys feeling with this new, uh, the new version of, of Blood and Guts, which is now just called Splatter? Yeah, I like Splatter a lot more. Yeah, it's cool. It's not overwhelming. Okay, that's good. Performance wise, right, seems to be okay. I will pass to. Uh, I guess. I don't know, is someone not holding their action? Hellebore? I'm not holding my action. Wait yeah. Alright, um. I don't have any holy water or anything, so I can't really help keep these guys oh, down. <clears throat> Vito's like shakes his booty, and there's one thing of holy water on his belt. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, is one of these guys about to get up? Is that the problem? These two all dudes them, right every, All of them are about to get up. What does all of them mean? Every single dead kobold that's on the floor is about to get up this, this round. Okay, so the three. The three kobolds. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Plus there's more coming. Yep. Shit. Where are the more coming from? The north? The south. Northeast? South. South, okay. Where that X is, that's where the mean snowman looking dudes are. Great. Great. Okay. So I'm going to move here. I'm going to grab um, item interaction. I'm going to grab the uh, holy water. It's the holy water of on Vitos' quick slot. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, is it? No. I don't know if anybody even uses quick slots anymore, man. <laughs> I got one of potions. Does that count? Yeah, basically I had the two. You had a potion bandolier? Go, go no. for it. Go for it. Just I take do. it. You got this it. This is the last you, bottle. You, you, I, okay. I didn't know I got it. Yeah, you got it. All right. Then I'm going to fast hands. Just dump it on top of this. It, is it a? Is it possible to apply it to two different bodies? Uh, no, since they're not tiny. No? Okay. Yeah, they're not tiny. Then, uh, yeah, I'll just do that. And... Uh, I got a little bit more movement, so I'll move back to here, and then I'll ready in action to shoot uh, a creature that gets adjacent to an ally. All right. So you okay. got this one. This one's gone. All right. Then I will pass to Selena. All right. All right, Selena. Face palm. As a free action, and then pull out the laser mm. rifle and just right. blast this cold one. <laughs> All right. Uh, go ahead. Give me a. You this have advantage. Is, this is. Oh, the actually, one. no, it's a range. Just be straight, I think. Yeah, it'll be straight. Incapacitated. Plus, he's on the ground. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, this is the one that Hellebore uh, used uh, like five of. I think we said. All right. So you're using the pistol or a rifle? A rifle. Okay. All right. It hits for seven. Yep. He's he's gone. Then we'll, uh. Oh, we'll win. Alrighty. I want to stick with the group. I'll just have Raven keep dodging on my. around me. Um. 
Oh, but I won't block up the pack because passageway. And I'll be done after that. I'll pass to Quan. Alright, Quan, uh Hmm. Says I guess we better go inside then. We got, we should definitely stick together. Alright. So he uh I gotta, make sure, I gotta make sure I'm doing this with his movement. There you go. 25. 30. So he steps there. And he would bring. Yeah, I guess he'll step there and then pass to uh, uh, seeing Zafu there. He'll pass to Zafu. It says. And he just passes Zafu. He's happy to say. I'm reading another shot. I am an readying an action to hit the first enemy that gets within range. All right. And then passing to. Do we want Velen to control initiative or? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. In case we get swarmed. Okay, I'm gonna pass to an enemy then. All right. Uh, which enemy do you want to uh, send it to? To the one that's waking up, or oh, no. oh was... no, 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 to like fumbling kobold vampire. <laughs> All right, fumbling. Where you at? Fumbling. There you are. Good choice. Good choice. All right, fumbling's going. Fumbling's gonna run over to here. Uh, oh, dang, that's how far. Is it? Wait. 25. Uh, runs up to there. It's as far as he can get. He'll pass to uh, Thrilling. Uh, 60. Uh, but then he only get one back so that he only can get it right there. You can see they're just fumbling over each other as they're running through here. Fine. Oh, he can't even get through. Yucks. This is like a swarm of kobolds. Game. They're all passing through each other. Through <laughs> each other, so I'm just gonna have them all go. They spent all their turns just funneling through this uh, one corridor, trying to get to you. Uh, let me see. Uh, then they pass to the one that's uh, about to wake up. He wakes up. Uh -huh. And Quan, uh, readying his uh, shot, just takes one shot at him. This is hits him for five and knocks him back down. This is like it like gets up, it like looks at Hellebore and like leaps through the air to that Hellebore and then boom, good shot. Alright. Um uh, it then passes the Hellebore. It then passes <laughs> something off screen. Okay. Something off screen. The lady that's been hackling for the last three hours. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> the lady that's been hackling <laughs> us. I have some mark for this. Uh, Selena. Yeah? Uh, coming through this uh, hallway in the north. Okay. Uh, you do see uh, coming out of the kind of the hazy mist mm -hmm. that has been inside this uh, thing the entire time. Uh, mm -hmm. where, where's the mark? Where's it at? Where's it at? Come on. I have art for this. Oh, here it is. You guys might rec recognize this image. Uh, show all. Uh, show all. Can I close my eyes? A, a very large uh, hyena with very, very long claws. I mean, uh, fangs and claws. It begins to laugh. Also, I got some new music for this. Hold on. Okay. Wait, is this a vampire hyena? Mm. Okay, uh, so Don, this uh, this mm -hmm. person in Cold Brother, that's supposed to be us. 
Yes. Okay, that's our. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna reveal it now. There he is. Awesome. When did we get gold? Oh, that's oh. so cool. All right. This campaign's awesome. <laughs> oh, let me get let me get that music out. It's probably the queen so of all like, those. It's like, it's coming like, out of the mist. Yeah. Oh, if we had gone to those chuckle hounds, we might have found out more about this. Mm hmm. I didn't have time to do everything. It's like playing XCOM. Yeah. Avatar Project. <laughs> right. Where is it coming from, though? The north. <laughs> right where we just left. Right. Oh, okay. Poor. Poor Helen. Alright. Uh, I, I try not to be afraid, but I, I level my laser gun at him. Uh, you do hear, uh, as it comes out the mist, uh, the single bloop of a paragon action. Now I'm terrified. I'll reveal it now. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure. Make, make sure that this doesn't uh, reveal anything. All right. Uh, you can see that as it comes out of the mist and sees you, uh, mm -hmm. Selena, uh, by its, by the, you know, there, and it's looking through you through this corridor. You can see that it opens up its mouth a bit, and there's just a glob of uh, uh, blood there, mm -hmm. and it shoots out that blood towards you. That's that's gross. Ow. Okay. Ooh. Blood bolt. Alright. As it does it, as it as the blood comes out of its mouth and it kinda like licks his lips, you hear cackling. Yeah. Huh. Um let's see. I don't think I can shield it as high. But I can shield the other one. Yeah, I'll throw up. Uh, I'll throw up a shield. This does poison and necrotic. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, we'll do a, a shield, and it, it won't. It won't stop the first one, but it will stop the second one. Wait, this creature. This creature just shot blood at you? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll take <laughs> Yeah, it's like 30, 30, 40 points of damage. <laughs> well, I, I shielded the second one. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Couldn't block the first one, unfortunately. If I only had one more AC, I could have done it. Could have just done mage armor when we came in here. That's on me. I don't know what I'm concentrating on. Is that the, the eye? Uh, yeah, um, is that so. my free eye? You wouldn't be happy. I don't think you would need to concentrate on it. Okay, well, it's prompting me. Oh, you know what I said? Uh, freaking uh, lights, drow lights from before. Okay. I'll just take it off. All right. Uh, there you go. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, and then as it shoots the blood at you, cackling, it uh, kind of uh, backs up. And then Vitos, you can kind of see it coming around the corner here. Oh god, it's so big. And it, it looks at you <laughs> for a second and then cackles and it goes back around the corner. Oh, man. Wait, which look. corner did it come around? This one up here? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's okay. gonna go get its snowman buddies. Snowman buddies? <laughs> Oi. Uh, you did hear the one blue prepared on action when it started its turn. And it will pa and Selena, you took uh, damage. That's the end of the round. Oh no, Sel uh, Velen can still go. Okay. Yeah, nobody uh, passed did, to me until I Velen get to use my god damn reaction. Yeah, that that would have been that would have been good. She would as, as he was right here, did that and did shot his bolt at you and came out the mist. She would have shot her. <laughs> Return and, fire. And she was like, "What the heck is that?" Uh, it seems to be some kind of vampire hyena spirit. Let me just double check. Okay. <laughs> we should have. Um, should have bought Velen like a, a more powerful wand or something. I mean, wand she never has to worry. Really she always hits. <laughs> yeah, yeah wand true. of magic missiles is pretty good. Probably All right, best so uh, you can bite you six, to get with the wand. Eleven damage. 
I don't know, Wanda Webb ain't no joke. You could be right. choke holding this passageway right now if you were this room. Yeah. All right, uh, Velen goes. It says, "What the heck is that?" We should get. We should get with the others. And she's gonna run and dash to get to right, to right here. To get five feet. <laughs> <laughs> run and Four. dash. She's. Oh no. Yeah, was it? And then for her turn, uh, she'll pass to you, Selena. The next round. Okay. Um. Let's summon a protector. I'm gonna summon my. Do someone undead. We're gonna upcast it. Uh, what kind of undead? Think... Uh, I don't know if that thing can be hurt by poison. It does damage. So. Hmm. Oh, this does slashing damage, but it, it poisons the target. Ah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'll summon the... I'll summon my... my I named it a Plague Knight. Right. Sweet. So, if I set up a token, and I'll, I'll tell it to go to go chase that thing. Okay. Uh, Just plot it where you want to plot it. I'll put it up here, in that passageway where it went up. And that's my action. I'll I'll tell it to go after that uh that creature, and then I'll follow Velen, and my Raven will dodge behind me. That'll be my right. turn. I'll set up its token stuff is that, in a second. Is that is that all your movement? You're moving only to right there. Um, I guess I could squeeze past Velen, but I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to leave Velen vulnerable. So yeah, I'll I'll be here. All right. I'll set up my token. All right, bonus action, you're telling it to move over to follow that thing. All right. Yeah. You have control over it, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't, I don't see through it, so. Oh. All right, so it'll walk up and it sees it and goes after it. Okay. Then it could attack it. All right. Yeah, with the rotting claw, and I upcast the level four so it gets two attacks. All right. Oh. Oh, I was good. Okay. Okay, you, want to do, you go ahead. Go. Oh, yeah. No, I'll delete mine. You'll use yours. Okay. So mine's with the first two. Oh, that that should... All right now, this, right now it's, I, I have it originally set up to just be for level three. So if you're using it at level four, uh, I think you have one extra point of damage. So instead of being three and three, it'll be three and four. Yeah. And then the second attack. All right, 21 for... Uh, what does it do? Poison, uh, slashing no, so and just then just slashing damage, and if and uh, then poisons them. So it has this. Uh, any other creature that starts next to it could get poisoned, and if it's poisoned when it hits it, it gets a chance to paralyze it. Let me check something. It doesn't poison on the attack. It like triggers if it's already poisoned, but I doubt it can be poisoned. That's why I was. But it's a good body to block some stuff. Oh wow. Okay, good. Look, turns out, um, uh, all right. So yeah, uh, so he has it has to any creature that's, that other than you that starts his turn. Okay, so it, it can't be poisoned yet. So no. and this is no. so this is damage. only to see if this is just damage. Okay. Yeah. So he took the seven and it missed uh, all, the six. Yeah. And all for right. flavor, he's got like a shadowy sword, but I'll put the token up in a second. <laughs> all right. Good. Like and I'll pass to Hellebore. Sorry, that took forever. All right. Four uh, Hellebore can go. Don't pass to me. I'm still holding my action. Oh. Four Hellebore. Hell four Hellebore. I come. All right. Who you, uh, who you oh, pass sorry. To? I'll pass it to... Zathu. Zathu? Zathu. Right. Zathu, yeah, so she can dodge. But I think All it's right, going to steal. Before Zathu can go, uh, it's going to use a Paragon action. Okay. To... Uh, bite... Uh, let me see. Hmm. Yeah, it'll bite this uh, this uh, little undead the undead thing that's in front of it. Yeah. So it has 15 AC. That's upcast. X. The first one misses. Second one hits. Uh, 
I don't know if it has. I'm not sure if it has re resistance or anything like that. It to has immunity to immunity to necrotic. Okay, so it only takes eight piercing and damage. immunity to poison. All right. All right. Cool. And it has more health. That guy does the HP reduction too. But, it, uh, but it's from the necrotic damage, right? Yes. Yeah. I don't think it can reduce my guy's health, right? No, it'll be from the necrotic damage. So he's not, he's not taking any necrotic damage. Okay, so it has 40 health right now, and then it took 8 damage. Got it. All right, Zafu. You're up. Okay. Oh, no, you passed... You, wait, did you pass the Zafu or Vito? I uh, passed the Zafu. All right, Zafu. I'm gonna... Oh, man. I guess I'll move back and... No. Uh, if you move wanna... up to this guy, I'll shoot him. Oh, yeah. Okay. You can also fill the gap if you only want to fight one at a time, too, afterwards. Yeah, yeah. I move there. All right. I take my shot. Twelve. Uh, 12 hits. Uh, okay. For, yep. And... Yeah, he's done. 31 damage. Okay. He's down the floor. Right. And then I swing. All right, go for it. Or tried and stab. All right, go for stab, it. Stab, I guess. Yeah. All right, that hits for eight. He's down. And then I'm going to stab that one. All right, go for it. Just weighing through these uh this horde of kobold vampires. Fourteen for seven. Oh well, just enough. He's down. Yeah. Okay, um, anything else from Zathu? I move back just to be safe. All right, as you <laughs> move back, this one takes an attack of opportunity on you. Oh no! Uh, oh, let me just double check something real quick. Uh, Yeah, it's going to try and uh, tackle you. Fourteen, I'm pretty sure. Wait, yeah, you were the next one ally, so. You was? Just back tactics. Yeah, there's another. There's an ally right here. God next damn. Yeah, I mean, you're all, you're inside of a corridor with full of them. Uh, all right, so critical hit. That's... Uh, it's only bludgeoning damage, and um, so it hits you. Uh, 16 damage, though. Yeah. And you fall prone. So she'll just have to stand there instead of move back. Yeah, so pretty much you if you can't move back, you just you can just stand up. You can use the rest of your movement to stand up because you had half your movement left. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Wait, is she's there? Oh, wait a second. Let me just double yeah. check something. I don't think uh, she's in the range. Bludgeoning damage. Must be... Oh no. Okay, you didn't fall prone. You need to make that strength save. If you make, if you fail the strength save, then you fall prone. All right, you're good. So you can move back. But you do take the the sixteen. Yeah, damage. I I already took that. Yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna pass to Hellebore now that she got her reaction in. All right. Uh, all right, Hellebore. Your turn. Jeez, you're looking rough. Um, it's fine. Where the, where'd they get you? Uh. <laughs> the pouch. <laughs> the pouch. <laughs> yep, the butt. All right. Hellebore slaps a band aid on Zathu's butt. Uh, no! Fast hands. All right. 15 Let's points see. of healing. And then I'm going to assume that they're going to come and kick her butt again. So I'm going to move to here. And I'm going to ready. Yeah, I'm going to go right here. I'm going to ready another action to shoot uh, an enemy when they get adjacent to an ally. All right. What does the ready symbol look like in your game? Oh, I asked bulb. 36 weeks later. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then I will pass to Selena. No, she already went. I will pass to Quan. 
All right, Quan. Uh, stands up, goes up uh, next to Zafu, and takes out his great axe. And readies an action to swipe the thing, the first uh, kobold that comes next to him. Uh, he'll pass to Vitos. Alright. There's a kobold here that's gonna wake up soon. Yeah, Vitos is just gonna take a step back, kinda survey the, the area, and then he'll just sacred flame that guy. Alright. That he just pointed to. Him. Gone. Alright, and then uh, I'm gonna pass the clank. Alright, clank? Clank's like that. I see you. I see you from now. There it is. I yeah, can, no, uh, I, was, I, I was just moving it so I could change it real quick. Yeah. yeah. Does it sound like there's more kobolds down there than just the ones that we have seen now? Uh, You're not hearing any more yelling other than the ones that are clambering through this through this hall, but you still hear the cackling. Alright, um. So if you need me to seal that passage, let me know, and I will bonus action send this thing to go bonk this guy. Alright, go ahead and give me the. I can't move it for some reason, but I will. I'll move it. I miss. Okay. Um, then I will. There's your complication. No. Oh. Speed is reduced to zero oh, until yeah. until your next turn. I won't do that. I guess I will just as an action stand right there and sacred flame one of the bodies. Alright. Gone. Alright, uh they haven't gone yet, have they? They still oh. have yeah, there's all of them still have their turns, yeah. Yeah, I'll pass to them to keep going for initiative. Alright. Who are you passing it to? Giant hyena or kobolds? The kobolds. All right. Uh, we'll go with fully grown. Oh man, fully grown. He's a fully grown, and he's like the smallest. He has he has the smallest uh, token. <laughs> yeah, he's just gonna I run don't through. Pick on people's sizes. He's gonna run through here. I'm gonna shoot uh, him! Shoot it up! Shoot it up! Shoot him! All right, you shoot okay. him. We're trying to shoot him. Yeah. Right, you hit him for four. No. I hit him for right. 17. As he runs up the thing and leaps up them, he, his mouth opens up to a, a bow. Arrow. He just falls down the floor. Hype. Crashing. Uh, he'll pass to uh, Automatic Cobalt, who was right next to him. <laughs> and he'll run up. Try to do the same thing. This time, Quan's uh, axe is going to come through. Hitting him right in the, the shoulder, digging it in, leaving a large gash. Falling on the ground right in front of Zafu's uh, hippies. Alright, uh, I'll pass to uh, Magic, Magical Cobalt, who's also gonna run through and he's just piling on top of these dead cobalts to try and bite. Uh, first person you can see, I guess, is Zafu, right ahead of him. So it goes for a bite. Two of them. Uh, both of them miss, I believe, because he yes. has no he has no pack tactics. All right, uh, he'll pass to uh, big uh, big uh, hyena. You hear the one blue of a paragon action come back up. All right, and uh, what are they gonna do? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, oh, yeah, that's what they'll do. Uh, you guys. Uh, Everybody will hear an even louder cackle than they uh, I've been hearing so far. Uh, let me just double check this. Just double check this too. We're getting close to time, so I want to uh, You guys, this little plague night is pretty cool. Thank you. All right. That's all I heard. I'm like, hell yeah. 
So uh, he makes a, a, a haunting uh, cackle. And uh, as he does so, uh, I need everybody to give me wisdom saving throw. Which more did I have to say? There. Everyone has to make a saving throw? Yeah, everybody in 120 feet who can hear him. Oh my god, Wisdom 19? That's not even worth blowing an inspiration on. I'll just accept my failure and move on with my life. Or my extreme failure. No. Alright, Clank, you make it. Selena, do you wanna do you wanna make it? Uh I can repeat it, I think I'll use my turns. Uh, yeah, why not? Right? See you at a cost in common. You lose oh. your lowest level spell slot. Okay. Damn. Yeah, that's what I was That's not about. too bad. That's no, not too bad. No, it's not too bad. All right, let me just minus right. one. And, uh... Clank, you're good. Clank's good. Selena's good. Let me just check, uh... Bellin. Uh... Spell slot. Okay, so I got two spell slots left. Uh, save Wisdom and Quan. Save Wisdom. Velen's no good. Quan's complication. Uh, force movement. Uh, you move 1d3 times 5. Fifteen feet in a round direction. So into into Zathu, uh, he'll bump into Zathu. He is so frightened that he just bumps into you, uh, Zathu. Hey, watch where you're going, dude. <laughs> wow. He's like, don't I'm you hear that? I'm trying to stay in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if you I'll failed, you are you are you are afraid. <laughs> I don't know if your 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 little plague knight thing is able to get you frightened. It is not. But. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, good. Also, I don't. Then, also, I don't know if it can, this thing can be poisoned, but if it starts its turn next to it, just to make a, a saving throw. Yeah, what's the saving throw? Uh, 17. It's a uh, Constitution, I believe. Let me double check. Okay. Uh, festering or uh, yeah, con save 17. Uh, it is poisoned. It is poisoned. Interesting. So we can't see it afterwards, do we? Does it go away? No. Okay. You because it, 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 it's not based off sight, it's based off it's sound. It's off sound, okay, as long as we, we got it. Okay. So all we gotta do is cover our ears? You like... already heard it though. Damn it! Alright, and then as it does that, you kind of see it, uh, it kind of, uh, well, I guess you can't look through your eyes of the thing, so. No, just, I, I just put the camera up here to show ever like, the people the stream, so. Okay. Alright. Uh, you saw, you guys see this as it cackles. Uh, it comes around the corner. No one sees this until it comes around the corner. Uh, let me just get this get this all set up, and we'll end the session here. <laughs> it picks around the corner, and you see it. Nice. What the fuck? It's like a where hyena vampire person. That is different than the other mini you showed us. How many of those other minis are there? Uh, this is actually part of the adventure. I I I'm just trying to figure this out. Like uh, it is cackling really loud, sounding like a hyena. Uh, looking at this thing, you recognize it as a gnoll. It's a vampire gnoll. But it has it has very long <laughs> things. Vampire gnoll. What the hell is wrong with this adventure? Right with this we'll adventure? End, we'll, we'll, we'll end the session there. Oh my god. This 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 adventure path is sick. <laughs> All these monsters are great. Alrighty. Hold on, I gotta be a feared before we end so that I uh, don't forget next week. Okay. I, gotta, I, I gotta go like right now. I got kitties. All right. All right. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thanks for all the job. Yeah, no problem. Woo. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next week. Hopefully, we survive. <laughs>
I got a, I got a, I got a backup character. So. <laughs> yeah. I'm more worried about that max health thing that it's chunking away at. Yeah. Hopefully, yep. I, I, I do have remove curse, so hopefully that works. Hopefully. Guys, don't worry. I got a guardian. It might, it might be a restoration thing. Yeah. Probably. I have that as well. <laughs> See you next week. Bye. <laughs> All right.